<laughs> that, I don't I even remember. remember how to do the tune. We heard it so many fucking times. I couldn't really do the tune. Dun, 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 dun. I'll uh, I'll have to come up with something new. I will. I I make it a habit to only sit at this thing on weekends because I don't have any concept of time, and that's kind of been a detriment because I haven't made any music. You know. Yeah. So I need, need to get on uh, that music. Right. I need to do that shit. But you know. Oh well. <laughs> and I'm, it's not like I do. I if it were like just me doing a show, like I'd have like you know. Uh, what do you call it? More production quality. Like I'd post, I wouldn't have like a piped in. I can't do the audio channel shit. It's hard enough with like the multiple audio sources I have already. I just picture you with like foot pedals and all this shit. Shit. No, like, cause this, like, this is a, a, a spit if. Then my TV has a speaker, and all these two have speakers. So just because they're plugged in, it goes, oh, hey, there's a, you know, a speaker available. I'm like, no. So like I go to sound and there's one, two, three. There's like, yeah, there's four audio devices to pick. So. So sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. And by the way, sorry, we're going late tonight as usual. I uh, forgot how to go live. <laughs> I so wanna... sorry for doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm consistent. <laughs> hey, we're consistent at least. Yeah, I'm consistently shitty. Oh, come on, man. But buddy of mine used to say that he, uh, when we were talking pain, he's like, I stick with this one because it's consistently shitty. <laughs> Instead of shitty on a bunch of new ways. So what's um, up with your... Your boy Floyd, I guess he's not going to be coming on. Well, he says he wants to come back on, but he can't tonight because uh, he's got that new Call of Duty. And yeah, that definitely ta- that takes precedent. I don't well, blame him for that. He he's not that big into Call of Duty right now. The only reason he's into this one is because they're Battle Royale. Uh, and you know he's he's a uh, PUBG and all that crap. So that's that's right up his alley. I uh, I understand because if the beta for Fallout seventy six was launching tonight, you wouldn't see my ass on here. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for me, it starts on like a Sunday or Monday, the th- whatever day the thirtieth is. Mm. But anyway, what's Ian been up to? Uh, been working on the LEDs and stuff for the inside of my case. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, again, $20 for watching the dogs this Aww. weekend. So that's going towards my video card. <laughs> Which one are you oh. going to get? The 1080? I'm getting the 2080. Oh, you know, this, I, you know, I, I forget. Everyone's not like me and flies by the seat of their pants and changes like squirrel. <laughs> Like, no, I have. I'm laser locked onto it, dude. Are you getting? I've, do you know which model? Uh, if I had the money, I'd like to go for the the MSI one with all the RGB on it. Mm-hmm. Um, that one's going to be like eight fifty. So, uh, eight fifty. We'll see in like a couple weeks, probably at the beginning of November. I I'm planning on getting it. You know, so mm-hmm. we'll we'll see how the wallet is. You know, mm, right. But I, I, I'd like to get that instead of having to get the, the cheapest. You know, like the gigabyte one. I guess mm-hmm. I think is the cheapest. Oh, oh! I have an article on a, a twenty eighty here in a little bit here, because I was perusing. Um, I'm kind of glad I'm gonna wait till after Christmas because a bunch more shit's probably gonna drop. But also, like you said, the Terrorists are gonna fuck us. So, yeah, six of one, half dozen the other. Yeah, I was talking to my dad about the tariffs. Uh, yeah, he's he's a Trump guy. I'm sorry, so is mine. 
<laughs> well, he said uh, he said he's trying to stick it to China, but he he did say that uh, you know, like if it if it continues, like the prices stay up that high, yeah, people are gonna get him out of office, man. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna eventually stick us. Because they're talking yeah, about so it's sticking us too. <laughs> yeah, they're like basically. Well, I meant us as just Americans, but yeah, yeah, they were like, yeah, Trump doesn't understand the concept of, and I don't remember the fucking term because it's not something I had heard. But I only took one economics class, but you know, I feel like if I had taken two, I would have heard this term that the president of the United States fucking hasn't heard. So, but anyway, what have you been up to, Ian? Dog sitting. Okay, we'll just we'll just go back to this. Uh, working <laughs> on the LEDs for my computer. Oh yeah, we'll, yeah, start yeah. The, we'll just loop over the conversation. How about that? What, well, I was, was trying not to couple words. I said I was trying <laughs> not to make the uh, like we got on one thing and just make it a, sh- a show about the fucking tariffs. And I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I've been doing this. Uh, well, the only the only thing is is yeah, I mean, I'm watching the dogs for my parents, so I gotta different backdrop um i'm on a tablet right now mm. uh yeah i'm like i got it like propped up on a pillow on my lap you know oh that's adorable it's like we're we're, we're sleeping on your lap that's that's kind of creepy <laughs> but i can put you in my pants if you want nah, that. <laughs> that's cool son. i don't know right, that dude. okay um, so yeah, I'm just house in for until tomorrow, so it's not a big deal, uh, you know. Gotcha. Um Yeah, so I'm doing the computer stuff. Uh yeah, I'm I'm gonna wait to kind of like do put a I wanna get this twenty eighty, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting like after I get done with the LEDs, I wanna I just wanna make sure I have like all the parts done and stuff and then I'm gonna start putting it together and by that time hopefully i sh- should be able to get that card then you know and then put mm-hmm. that in there too mm-hmm. that'd be kind of like a new computer did you see they got a the 2700x is going for like uh 270 or something i think or cheaper on at micro center micro center's been having some decent deals i think oh yeah yeah I I was meaning to check to see what kind of 2080 deals they had. They had a couple of decent deals. I remember when I was looking for the 2080, but the thing is, is then you got you go in a store, then you got the tax. Oh yeah, yeah, and the tax on a 2080 is gonna be hurting your wallet, man. Well, you know, there's there's other things if you order off the internet. I got another article, so I'll uh, just. Leave it at that. Mm. We'll see. We'll see if you can figure Go out. Ted. Go up, Ted. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but what have you been up to, good sir? Well, mostly work. Um, watching a lot of uh, YouTube as always. Oh, I, I know what you've been watching on YouTube. Uh, show up, Ted. <laughs> but yeah, um, mostly work and playing on playing some video games when we get off here. Video games. Oh, uh, yeah. What are you going to. What are you trying to do? Some more stuff for your character on Fallout or something? Or Yeah, just, you know, more grinding and trying to get some different perks. Mm. and re- replay some quests that I haven't done in a while. I, uh, I'm i trying to be a... It's a you know role-playing game. And I'm trying to play it as a different character. Like, uh, you know how there's... In Fallout 4, there's companions. And... Uh, sorry, my dog came upstairs and I heard him. <laughs> so there's companions. Someone's creeping up on you, Frank. Right. Oh no, there's a murderer on the stream there. Right. That'd be fucked up. So yeah, the like um there's companions and shit. 
And one of the companions is like a junkie that likes for you to steal shit and take drugs. And uh, then like, but she's got, she realizes she has a problem and she wants you to help her get straight. And there's a quest you can do to sober her up. I'm not going to do that quest because I want to steal stuff. I already did the other playthrough and like when you sober her up, she actually dislikes it when you do like drugs aren't just like in, in the game. They're not like just to get fucked up. Uh, no, like they give you a performance boost, but they sometimes have a cost mm. or, you know, you take shit to cure it. So it doesn't matter. And a certain perk, you, uh, none of the drugs bother you. You just take whatever you want and fuck it. <laughs> so, that's always fun. Um, been doing that, and uh, that's not a whole lot, really. Um, been a kind of a busy week at work. Um, our productivity hours in eight hours, I've been able to do twelve hours worth of work. So, yeah. in a in a that's place that, like yeah, I'm not supposed to even. I don't normally get eight hours worth of work in that fucking dump. So. <laughs> That, that sounds kind of one-sided, man. <laughs> well, I'm in a building by myself this week. Normally, like they upped our production to where we wanted us originally just to do eight hours for our eight-hour day, and then they were finding out some people were overachievers and doing like 16, and they're like, well, if they could do 16, everyone should be able to do 10. And we're like, it's an eight-hour day. And like... I don't know. But so, do you get paid just for the eight hours though? Yeah, you're paid hourly. They don't get like the only thing is they they they've said before they can't like do anything because they can't really quantify your productivity because it's all there's like they know there's problems with the way it records, but they still expect mm -hmm. you to pay attention to it. Right. Uh, well, but, is what's the benefit to you though? Like it might get none. raised eventually or no. No. Does it help you? No. Help you out the next no. day or something? No. No, and the funny thing is they email it to us. So like and it's not in a code or anything. You see the person's name and how many fucking hours of shit they did. So that's kind of like stirring the pot, I think. But Yeah. Oh well. Anyway. By the way, uh for those of you dog lovers. Oh, where's the puppies? Uh, the puppy is right there. I, I see a red. Oh. Hold on. There. Oh. Oh. Which one's that? That's Zoe. Zoe? Zoe. Yeah. Oh. How's your dogs doing, by the way? They're okay. <laughs> They're, uh... Like I said, we got what well, I was telling you, we got a new couch, so they're getting used to it. And our one dog is pretty much blind, so she's rediscovering the furniture layout in the living room. Yeah, yeah. You were Aww. saying before the show that she they got a new couch or whatever. Yeah, we had bought one like months ago, and they never delivered it, and we were freaking out because the company technically was going out of business, but. They have a warrant, like we it has a warranty because it's through a third party company. So we're like, well, fuck, okay. We thought we'd get it before they went out of business. Well, we're like, where the hell is their shit? And they're like, oh, it's on a truck. It's been on a truck for two months. Oh, um, um, and my wife ended up having to call and be like, look, I'm gonna, you know, ask for my fucking money back because I'm not getting it. Oh, it'll be there Friday. God damn right, it'll be there Friday. <laughs> yeah. So my mother in law had to stay here and sign, well, sign off on the delivery. So. What was what was wrong with the old couch? Was like the springs stabbing you and shit? No, something? it was the, it was the kind of co like the back was a big pillowy cushion, and the way like it was a sectional too. So you're supposed to lay back on it. Like the one side was meant for you to lay down, but like the way that it's set up, it, the cushions just lost their cushion. Mm. For for us anyway, like you know, it's like when a pillow won't stay fluffy, and. uh it was like that the whole back. It was just uncomfortable. Um, but, you know, we gave it to one of her uh, friends from high school. Her, uh, his, He and his wife uh, had, like, a futon. 
So I'm like, oh shit, well, sectional is a nice change up for you, buddy. So, yeah, you were, I was telling you, uh, you earlier before the show that my, I got you guys charging on my couch here because my mm-hmm. parents got one of those, uh, couches that has chargers built into the couch and mm-hmm. has like controls for reclining and stuff. So it's like, zzz. yeah, we got an electric recliner, uh, also. Yeah. Smaller than the last one, but eh. eh. The only thing that's bad about that is, yeah, it's like a lot slower than, though, like if you need to get up real quick or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you guys didn't end up going with the couch like that, huh? Was it like yeah. too expensive? Well, no, just it didn't speak to us. We were like, mm. we were literally walked around. Like, we didn't get the floor model, they ordered us another one. So we're like, they're like, oh yeah, we'll order anything. You don't have to get the ones that are for sale. We're like, oh okay. I'm like, how the hell are you guys gonna get rid of this shit if you only open another month? <laughs> but so like, uh, it was the most comfortable one. We're like, what this one? I'm like, yeah, this one, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, what color did you guys go with? And was there like a theme or something that you were were you it's, trying to look for a specific color? No, this is like black, yeah. uh, brown leather. Uh, our our theme was comfort. <laughs> are, you we're gonna, hmm? are you a fan of leather? Do, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like it because it's like sticks to your skin and stuff. Mm, nah, I don't care. We got, I mean, we got blankets and shit because this time of year, especially, you're not going to be sitting there bare ass on a couch anyway. No. Yeah, it started getting cold as fuck, man. That's Ohio. We go straight from summer to fucking winter. Our first day of it being cold, everyone's like, fuck this. We, my wife literally turned the AC off, turned it back on because it was that hot. And then the next day it was so cold, we turned everything off, even the fans, because it was freezing. <laughs> and um, it's, I, w- I was driving it for a minute. I was like, fuck, is that snow already? But no, it was a truck in front of me was throwing shit back at me so I had to go around him. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if it was fucking snow because it's Ohio. It just, it do what it do. But... yeah, I don't turn my heat on for like a little while and less if it's like snowing and shit just because, yeah, like my apartment is pretty well insulated and like computers kind of keep it warm too. <laughs> Yeah, you got the MDs. Uh, the MDs an oven. I didn't know you wanted a space heater. <laughs> I've got hoodies and like when it gets real cold, I sleep in hoodies and double socks and shit. I hate socks, but in the winter time, nope, got to got to wear them. comfort. We had two comforters, and I'm still like, fuck, what the fuck, man? <laughs> well, we got a fireplace that, and yeah. Well, yeah, like with your uh, computer room though, like. You guys got the AC thing figured out, but is it does it still get like real cold during the winter? And well, I mean, it's the upstairs. Um, I mean, didn't you have to have like a space heater in there or something? No, about? no, no, no. I just oh, wore okay. hoodies and I got slippers and shit. I mean, uh, I'll make do, mother. <laughs> what kind of slippers you got? They actually got like a Dr. Scholl. I think they're Dr. Scholl's because they got like a gel on the uh, the bottom. Uh, the, 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 Dr. Scholl's help with the gout stuff? No, these are just what the fuck they had. Uh, I think it's like either gel or memory foam on the sole, but like I've had so long you can't tell unless you know. They're just like brown, brown, uh, black slippers. Because you know, everything I got is fucking black. So, anyway... Uh, Real important question. I don't give a fuck. So to talk. talk. Drinking. That's right. What you drinking on? Uh, drinking on uh, ice, ice and ice. a red. Mm. And some different water? parts of the rainbow, the Mountain Dew rainbow. Um, and some and what, you know water? I thought you drank water. I forgot about the water. Fuck the water. <laughs> I actually I sent you a drop of uh that's why I call high quality H2 when everyone else is drinking fucking water. <laughs> but 
This is this is interesting. I actually went out just for this, not just for the show, because I when I went out the past week and got groceries, I I went and grabbed some Mountain Dew ice because I like to drink it, you know, on the weekends when I'm gaming and all that. And I went to grab it, and they had a case of Mountain Dew ice with cherry. Have you seen that? Mountain Dew ice with cherry? Yeah, I have not heard about that. What so that I was like, like, well, I was like. Hmm. Nah, and I was like, I don't, I don't need it. So I just got the regular, and I got home. I told my wife about. It. She's like, Well, why didn't you get it and see if you like it? I'm like, Cause, fuck. <laughs> so I was like, I'll get it before the show because I, I only drink on the weekends. During the week, I don't, I don't try to drink any soda on, during the week. I'm trying to cut back on my sugar because I'm trying to, I'm trying to lose weight. I've been do- losing a little bit. Um, a lot of like soda is actually water weight, like. I, as soon if you gave up all soda, you lo- you drop a lot of fucking weight. But I get tired of drinking water all the fucking time, and tea is the way I drink tea is more sugar than soda. So, yeah. But I, I drink like seven up during the week, and then on the weekends I'll drink Mountain Dew. And uh, I I was like I'll go get it, so I got a, a case of uh, sitting in my mug here is some ice with a. Ice uh, cherry, it's um with a splash of juice, I think is what their tag thing says. And it is. It's just a... It's like a... It's not like a... You know, Tussin-style cherry. Where is you're it like, kind of like Cherry 7-Up or something? A little bit, but it's it's smooth. Because like, that's like... Go ahead. Sprite do like a cherry or... Well, like, I got the I got the cherry seven up, and I like that. And sprites is more like the, the cherry is heavier. I think like it comes at you. This one's like, hey, there's cherry in here. Like you know, there's a hint. Like you could have been drinking in a cup that had cherries in it, and they got washed out. <laughs> yeah, it's like like, a, like like my old water. Like I light get, cherry. Like my uh, I had pineapple water that tasted like the water you washed a pineapple with. It's a. It was called hint because it had a hint of the fucking flavor. This, but this is I. And then after that, I got some high quality H two O, so I don't you know drink too much. But yeah, I figured I'd try that. Um, it's something like a red uh, can. Uh, do ice, uh, cherry. Let me, let me see what the actual picture looks like for y'all. For those who give a fuck, I mean, you must if you're listening to us talk about it. <laughs> yes, that the uh, Winces guy he, he made a comment on our last show. Uh huh. Um. What do you say, which dog? I forgot. Which I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh. Uh, no, I. I liked it though, you know. Oh, that was sweet of you. Yeah. Here's what the cans look like. They also have it in the bottles. Um, but I got the can. The can's actually red. He just said all eyes and ears on this. On on what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Apparently they have it at Target. I got it. I got they. I saw it at Walmart. I almost bought it. I should have, because I went to the gas station because I found out they had it, and I was like, I don't feel like going all the way to Walmart. Also at the gas station, <clears throat> I was surprised they had um these fucking things, Buzz Balls. You buzz ever heard balls. of them? No, what's that? They're uh, they're liquor. In a mm. little, like, you remember those barrels when you're a kid? Like those juice barrels? You mean like the hugs? Well, you know, little kid thing. That's what, like, look at this. Can you see this picture? Yeah. Yeah, the little palms, like the size of a baseball. And you crack it open, and, and there's, like, <laughs> malt liquor in there. I don't, like, the guys on regular seating, they did multiple challenges with them. They drank a bunch of different, because there's different, I mean... A shit ton of different flavors. Here's a stack of them. 
you know, stiff lemon for, I guess, like hard lemonade, uh, overdue blue, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, like, I just saw them on the cash, uh, chalk teas. So I guess that's like, uh, pineapple passion tequila Rita. Hmm. Yeah. How many and, different flavors of the balls was there? Cause I know you like the cherry balls, right? Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Balls. Well, see, this is that buzz balls is different. Well, that's with a Z, and that's a uh, liquor. Um, with the excuse me. Oh, let me see. There's I didn't know there was is it, huh, to fizz or not to fizz. There's a there's a subreddit for uh, fizzy drinks. I'm about to subscribe, dog. Hold on. <laughs> a gathering of all facets of the beverage world in one place, whether it be carbonated drinks, soda, energy drinks, kombucha, or non-car drinks, juices, sports drinks, bottled water, all are welcome here. Well, I better subscribe to that. There are 787 people subscribed to this thing. Nice. Oh my god. Dude, Dark Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. That's weird enough. I'd have to try it. I hate Dr. Pepper. I like Dr. Pepper 10. That's the only one. So yeah, um, but with balls, there's a, b a bunch of flavors. Um, let me look. Balls flavors. Lay down. What? Oh, no, dude. <laughs> she fart. Uh, the dog. I guess one of the dogs. <laughs> I think it's the bigger dog here that has a problem with gas sometimes. <laughs> Aww. Dude, that shit is terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, you got the original ginger, orange, cherry, root beer, uh, and then zero, um, and then these are just the canned versions, I guess. Um, the root beer is okay, but it's kind of like, it's not diet, but it tastes like, it, like, have you ever had a diet root beer? Ooh. That's kind of what, like, it's fakey. I th I, that's from what I remember. I, I thought I had one once, but I, I can't remember. I know I've had the regular, and the ginger is all right. I don't normally like ginger drinks, but the ginger is all right. They do it just like Diet Coke does. Diet Coke is, like, just covers up the ginger so you don't even taste it. I'd like to try the orange I've never had, but the cherry, I just happened upon it at Kroger, and I said, ooh. That shit's like having orange. a Diet Twinkie. What? Probably. Diet root beer. Oh. It's like, I mean, yeah, why why do it? It's all chemicals at this point. There's no root in fucking root beer. But anyway, dog. I, I heard something like root beer is technically supposed to be like car carbonated like tea or something. Oh. Wow. Carbonated this is, version of iced tea. This is blown the fuck out. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, sir, would you like to get into some stations? Station. Station. Okay. okay need so to, we need to get that drop that Paul's are where it does. Excellent. Uh, yeah, someone asked him, they're like, where'd you get that? He goes, think about it. And his, he was wearing a wild style hand shirt. Okay. What is your theme, sir? Think about it. 2080s? Yeah, 2080s. They so. finally started doing some on the battle station. They made their way. I, I, you know, I was looking at Last week like it was two. it was all waiting, getting my rig ready for the 380. Right. I'm gonna have. Well, then why the fuck are you posting it now? Yeah, that's like those assholes who are like, I just got a room. I'm gonna put a computer in it. I don't care. <laughs> not only do I not care, it's in the fucking rules. It has to have the shit in it. Dumbass. Yeah. So I'll anyway. probably be doing 2080 setups like all this month until I actually get it. Oh, you're all like fat, 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 fat. Yeah. Kind of like what you do, man, with the yeah. setups. You know, like, what was that? Then she do that like when you got a, a 4K or whatever, you start doing like all 4K shit. Yeah. RGB setups. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm very, um, 
like my PC part picker lists are almost the exact same computer, but like one component different. <laughs> and then I just I, see the fluctuation in price. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I look forward to updating my shit when I get the card too, because that'll be fun. Now this dude, or sorry, this guy or this gal here. No, it's I'm a dude. sure. Okay. Well, <laughs> did you just assume their gender? Yes. Sir. Okay. I'm just messing no. Up. Like the, I'm sure that monitor is a high refresh rate or, you know, insane Hertz or G sync or some shit, but man, Hertz. it's fucking tiny. Like, cause that, that, that tower is like just a glass panel with some posts on a board and the, and that is bigger than the fucking monitor. By the way, you're not screen sharing anything. I'm not. God damn it. Let me do it again. Application. It said I was. Okay, am I now? There you go, yeah. Okay, let me zoom enhance for for the layman. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. The colors, everything's nice. Uh, he's got a Corsair keyboard, which I'm always down for. Um, they have a, a shit. Um, looks like a shit preamp. Stack? N no, there's only one. Uh, a shit stack is when you have a DAC and an amp. This is looks like just a preamp. If I would, uh, well, I haven't read any description to tell you what that actually is, but. I believe it's a shit sis, if I had to guess. That that button is not only a volume button. Well, I'm sorry. There's usually a volume button and a knob to uh the, well to a, a volume knob and a button to select. Now that I look at it, I only see one actual button. So it might just be a an amp. I that I don't amp. know why. I don't I don't know why I don't see a DAC. I'll have to read the description now. I see a blue yeti peeking out in the corner. And I also see where they put some shit on the wall and took it down, and it's still there. Do, do you see that over in the left? Yeah. It's like, hey, look, let me shine some light on this spot on my wall. <laughs> they got the G Skill uh, RAM. They got the um, NZXT uh, uh, Kraken or whatever that you want. Yeah. Looks kind of like a dark setup, kind of though, with not not like a whole lot of RGB. Yeah, the, like the the RAM, the cooler, uh, a light in front of the graphics card, because that's just the that's just the um, founder's edition, which doesn't have any RGB on it. So it looks like they stuck a strip in front of it to make it look like it does. The Kraken's <laughs> got RGB, and then there it looks like a little bit. Below the cooler and um, to the left over there by the uh, I.O. Yeah. Looks to be. Everything else is dark as a motherfucker. Uh, let me look at the description here. Brand new build. Specs. Asus Maximus X code. Well, good. Thanks for telling us because I couldn't tell shit. 32 gigabytes of G skill. Okay. Kraken. Uh, M.2 250. And a 750 watt G3. Um, he upgraded for the 980. Of course, he's gonna like it. Um, people are bitching. Oh, I wouldn't have a water cooler. Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you would. Yeah. Where they leak? Oh, 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 oh. Shut up. So yeah, it's all right. If somebody gave you skunk, if Jay gave you skunk works, you would take that shit. <laughs> with the with the crap and the thing and everything, like they're floaties. <laughs> Sorry, I have to sip my beverage because I have ice in it because I enjoy a cold beverage. But then it also will um make my teeth they're very still very sensitive to cold here. On one second.
Oh, that's that's cool as long as you're not holding up your pinky, right? Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, my um, my drink has a an issue where it's leaking out the side a little bit and dribbling, and I had a specific rag for that task, and it went all the way over to the other side of the room for some reason. But yeah, I was saying that's that's okay to sip as long as you're not all not your pinky. Oh, pinky's out. Okay, so this is your first setup. Let me go to your second setup. Copy. I'm changing. Uh, DPIs on the fly with my mouse, and it actually, when I was in Linux the other day, it it worked even though I never set any DPI in Linux. So it must remember. <clears throat> I thought that's a colorful star page there. Oh, this one. The pink, yeah. Well, you know. I figured uh, black is okay, but I wanted something dark, but I kind of like, I like color. I just don't want to, you know, go. Wah, 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 wah. My <laughs> I wonder eyes. if they'll start doing like animated shit. So, so then you could do a full, full RGB, you know? Well, like, um, that's like I was saying about, this is still Vivaldi. So there are a lot of tools. And, um, like there's a whole page just for the start page, so like I can change the color on the fly. Mm. Like, see. Ugh. Excuse me. Sweet. Oh yeah, that last one was like major RGB, the blue and the yeah that one. That's like their Vivaldi to fall in. Here you go. Uh. Yeah. I just chose this one. But yeah, there's different customizations. I'm not going to fuck with it. <laughs> Doing the show. Do it live! So this guy, I saw this one. Now, you know me and Ultra White. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Boner, boner, boner. That's right. Then he's got that RGB, so that's all up in your face. That thing is serious, man. Like, man, it's the case. Is that a Fantex? I don't know. It's, we need to. Zzz, zzz. All right, hold on. Let me open a new tab. Because you can see the side there. But then it's got this drop right here. EVGA. I don't know if that's just on the power supply or the actual case. Hmm. But they got the Corsair. I'm going to say probably a H100i. Uh, Cooler, and then they got a uh, uh, looks like the um, Founders Edition 20 ATI again. Hmm. It's is that like RGB strips going down the sides? I think that might actually be it built into the case. I, I vaguely remember uh, this. Hmm. I'm not sure what case this is though, um, because the lights are fucking off, but I feel like I've seen it. Corsair mouse yeah. pad, go ahead. I was looking at the uh, specs for my mo motherboard, and it does have a RGB header, but it's not addressable. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Yes. What does that mean for the audience? Oh, oh you're turning into a robot there, Ian. Uh, what Do you um, know what that means for the audience? Okay. Basically, um, to summarize it, well, for one, your pins are different. Because you have three for regular RGB and four for addressable, right? Yeah, yeah. Be the, be the, before you get into the functionality of the damn thing, you have to make sure uh, a regular RGB header will take 50-50 uh, RGB strips. Like if you just buy a set of RGB strips off of Amazon, pretty much it'll work. Um, addressable, you have to get specifically addressable ones. And then 
addressable it handles a different range of uh, in the RGB spectrum, if I remember correctly, right? Well, the addressable means that you could, like your keyboard, you could change each color of the LED, LED yeah, each, you know, each LED. Each diode in the light emitting diode. Yeah, so right? that's how people do the like the the like the rainbow effects going around, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, the uh, the cooler I'm looking at for uh, Threadripper, uh, the newer version has an addressable RGB uh, light on it, which you could hook up to your motherboard if your motherboard supports addressable. Mine does not. It just has an RGB header, the one I'm looking at at least. So, but it also has a control box. It's just you have to deal with the fucking box to actually click through the settings. Yeah, if, if you do have addressable strips isn't that how you would you would have to get some kind of box or something for those you either have to have like a rgb controller or like because the like i said the pump and the you know the whole thing comes with a little box with like just to click through the options i just i'm not a big fan of that because i had on my one led strip i had for my nuka colas uh it had that kind of selection which once I found a setting I liked, it was okay, but going through them is a pain in the dick because you literally just had to go through this one, no, this one, no, this one, Listen. no, and then you go, okay, now I gotta make it faster. No, I gotta make it faster. No, 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 that's too fast. Gotta slow it down. <laughs> you literally have to hit everything. You can't just look at the remote and go, okay, I want this one, <laughs> or look at the app and go, I want that shade right there. So, yeah. But they keep talking about what monitor is that? What monitor is that? Hmm. Scrolling through the comments, gonna see a bunch of bullshit. Okay. <laughs> a lot, a lot of the comment trees are blowing up. So yeah, that's a big on ass monitor. On <clears throat> average, would you say Reddit comments are smarter or dumber than YouTube comments? Um, or is it just different? No, I'm gonna say smarter. Really, I feel like the people, because anyone can get on YouTube and go, "How are I doing this in first in is English not your first language? No, is English. <laughs> you first feel like is, there's more of a community on Reddit. Yeah, Reddit. You well, I mean, that's all Reddit is is a bunch of communities. People who like things, they post a subreddit for the thing. And I'm trying to explain, like, when you have to explain it to someone else, they either get it or they, like, don't fucking understand quite how it works or they already know about it and they're telling you about something. Right. So, um, I mean, it's it's crazy because there are so many different, like, there are a bunch of different channels on YouTube, but they're not really channels, if you think about it. That's just a certain, you know, a uh, person bringing you their content, a content creator. It's not necessarily like a channel like CNN, you know, even though that's this their brand. And, right. And they can have different shows on that channel, but it's never going to be as full of content as an actual, you know, the way we think of a channel. Whereas subreddits. Oh yeah. It's, it's with, it's a Reddit within itself. It's, they can be a living, breathing organism. Like if you're not on battle stations, Every day, there'll be shit drop that you didn't even know about. And you'll be like, oh, I'm behind the times. <laughs> what what happened? And, you know, same with uh, any other subreddit. You know, it'll be flooded with something. And that's what, you know, Reddit uh, gets to, like, you can upvote something, so it will be to the front page. Doesn't matter what subreddit it is, well, as long as I guess it's not, you know, not safe for work or whatever. You It can get upvoted to the front page. Uh it can get up to the top of the subreddit. So when that aspect is similar, um, YouTube just has its own algorithm and fucks everything up. So you don't actually see it the way like God intended, as they say, like, uh, uh, you know, just like Instagram. They're like, we need a chronological timeline. They're like, nope, nope. You get what we think you want to read. When it first launched, yeah. you had the chronological. You saw what your friends posted in real time. Not anymore. Now on Facebook, you see what your friend posted three weeks ago. Like it just happened 10 minutes ago. So yeah, the the general people have higher intelligences, and the pe like even the you know the the memes and the you know bullshit and the shit posting like PC Master Race the that subreddit 
in their description, in their rules, it says, you know, be civil and type intelligently. You're using a keyboard, not a controller. Yeah. So PC master race, and you, you have to have a PC. That's isn't that like the golden rule? I mean, if not, it battle stations be. at least. Yeah, battle stations. You have to have an actual like tower in there. It can't be a laptop, and it can't be a, a console. You can have a console, but that can't be the only thing driving your screen. That's stupid. They should start including like, you know, like small form factor, like little like cube boxes, you know. I mean, they do because some guys like one. I've seen a few posts where the the mods deleted it, and they go, "No, it's actually there. It's this box." I'm like, "Oh my god, I thought that was your whatever." <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, say say something so the camera goes to the dog. Something. Aww. Aww. You so cute. She's so quiet. Aww. Good girl, yeah. Zoe. Yeah. Give her a kiss. Uh, that was a white one. <laughs> Aww. So that's and your second station. She, she's <laughs> older, right? No, she's the youngest. She's the run oh. of the litter. Aww. Yeah. So uh, my third station here. Ooh. I remember this one with the three-legged dog. Oh uh, yeah, that I figured that get a lot of people too. This um right, they kind of hard it. Please like my post. There's a three-legged dog. I uh I almost had this one last week or whatever week it was because that tower. I went with a uh, a bunch of those towers for my posts, but can you guess why I didn't include it? Why? Let's take a guess. Mm. Look at those fucking speakers facing sideways. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. They're in, the, they're in the middle of your desk and they're sideways. And then the cables. <laughs> oh, my God. I think they have like a subwoofer balanced on something on the desk. Oh, I've seen dumb shit. That I'll, I've actually commented, what the fuck are you doing? Like, But like this one... Like they got my old router here, and then they got their uh, look at look at their cables in between their monitor and their tower. Like yeah. they're not even trying. <laughs> they're like, and spaghetti. Like mine are a mess, but there's a fifty inch screen in front of them, so you literally can't. The, it, there's no way this thing turns to the side unless you climb behind my tower and you know, or behind my monitors and stick your head there and look. You don't see this. This, if you just turn your head the right angle, you're like, oh, I see a fucking mountain of wires coming at me. So they took any of the attention that they took putting their figurines up on the shelf and just tucked these away, made it a little more presentable. Because this is the back of the case. The plugs go here. So they go from here to this thing. So there's probably a good six feet of fucking cable they could have stuffed down. And all they got to do is stuff it behind, like they stuff a little bit behind this Alex drawer. That's all you got to do. No one will see it. Is that an NZXT cooler too? Yes. Looks like? Yes. Now this is that Corsair RAM. This is what I would like to get for my next computer. Because look how, look how bright the fucking shit is. Yeah, it does get pretty bright. Like there's no the heat sinks that really don't block anything on this version. And look, I think they got the RGB twenty four pin connector too. Uh, I mean, they might as well. Nothing else is RGB on it. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't think the uh, card even lights up. It's an aftermarket because it's you know an Asus. Doesn't say you know, like it's not the GeForce the straight up Nvidia brand, but. And those yeah, those monitors but, are like really angled. Yeah, I mean the one on the right is at least I can't really tell. The left one looks to be an ultra wide, but the the right on the right, like I said, you, it's just is the right angle to be you know showing off all those wires. What? Why? I don't uh, know. I mean, shouldn't they be kind of disqualified too for not having like a chair in there or something? I mean, well, you can see the track marks. <laughs> 
where they have a chair. They just pull it out so it doesn't get in the way. They're, I don't understand why their router and their, you know, I mean, as I guess that's their modem. I don't know. All this shit over here. I can't quite tell. I, I know that's a, a wife, their modem. I, I'm assuming that's router. I can't tell. Where, where is it? This white thing over here next to their microphone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's an airport or anything, right? No, I mean, like the th little thing behind it could be because it's it, it kind of looks like an Apple prop, but it's really small. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to pull up and read the description now. Rick and Morty. Uh, Pickle Rick! <laughs> that would I have it as a ringtone. Yeah, I have it as a ringtone. Nice. She sent me that, man. For a drop. Right. Well, he doesn't actually put in any description in the fucking comments. They just say, here's my shit. <laughs> that's, see, that's kind of lazy. Right. I forgive everything though, just because of the dog. Right, man. So I mean, granted, they're you know they're on the hype train. That's the one thing they have in common with each other. But they're all actually kind of like, you know, this one has a three-legged dog, a nice desk, and a nice tower, and they got an ultra wide. So I can't say much other than their speakers are, you know, the wires are oh, killing me. That's an ultra wide. Oh yeah, the one on the left is yeah. Yeah, I guess he. When you kind of have an ultra wide, everything, you know, it, it kind of looks normal to you. So, like, yeah. it, it almost seems like it's a standard screen, then, like, the regular wide screen looks like a really sh short, then, you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta, you've got to see, like, next to another monitor to go, oh, why is that one so short? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's one of the reasons I went with the bigger ultra wide for mine because. Like the you can get a twenty five inch ultra wide, but oh my god, it's short. It's like seventeen inches tall or something like that. You think they'll ever make ring TVs? Uh, like ring screens, or you just uh, like sit in the middle of it, and it has to be like supported with legs where it just wraps all the way around you. I mean, they got the you know you can get a semi circle with uh, the curved monitor side by side, so yeah, it it really would depend like it'd have to be a lot of power to drive it but i mean i'm sure it's a goal but um if i had to pick one right now i mean go ahead well my order would well before i say my order go back to the first one just so you know i don't know i mean this one's got some good rgb yeah I think those are speakers, but it doesn't say shit about them in there, I don't think. I think I'm going to go with two, three, then this one last. Hmm. See, I was going to say three, two, and one. Oh, really? Yeah, Dog, you got you. No, 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 no. See, the second one here, although I like a giant-ass monitor, and I do like RGB, I can't tell what any of it fucking is. It's too dark, and there's no... This could be just sitting on a rickety shelf that's literally a piece of wood nailed to the wall. And you can't tell because the lights are out. Yeah. Now this one, yes, there's some wires visible. But it looks alright. I still, you know, I, 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 can, I can hang. But the internet says the first one got 18. Number two got 463. And then the dog got 204. So, so apparently, even though the internet likes dogs, they like the ultra wides better. Yeah. So, congratulations, uh, Thoro Lou. You've got a goofy name. I mean, you win a peanut. All right. Time for mine. Station. Station. So my theme, I I want to do micro ATX, 
be only because the, the way the form factors go, my, uh, ATX is, a, you know, the standard mid, you know, full size tower. Micro ATX is slightly smaller. And then mini ITX is the smallest. Well, the smallest that you're going to get with actual power, uh, usually only one PCIe express lane. So you can only one run one graphics card where, you know, MATX, you could have sometimes three or four uh, PCIe slots, so you can run at least, a, you know, an SLI setup. And uh, also that happens to be the smallest form factor that Threadripper is currently available in. So this uh, person has a mini ITX setup, or mm, I think it's, nope, my, my, or, sorry, micro ATX, I think. Anyway, I could just look up MATX because there was like two posts. So I just looked up small form factor or whatever. And I don't remember which one I actually searched at to get these, but they're all smaller form factor PCs. They're not, you know, mini. I think they're... Uh, but look at this one. First off, soft, you know, tubing loops, two uh, full-size GTX uh, Founders cards, um... A uh, keyboard with gold keycaps for the arrow keys, dog. Yeah. Um, it looks like they were fiddling with uh, a motherboard because they got a VRAM uh, heatsink up here on top of their speakers. And they got portrait monitors. Uh, by the way, they called it blah, blah, blah high school. And this is, <laughs> I think... This is the oldest post I have. I, I might have even had this guy before, but this is a four-year-old post. But they got an old ThinkPad, a MacBook, and like I said, portrait monitors, which, you know, like looking at these older, you know, these posts, you see some stuff and you're like, oh, yeah, nobody says a damn thing about you know, doing cable management or those bezels, though. There you go. They, you know what they just say? They say, man, I wish I had that. <laughs> the only I time need... I don't think portrait monitors wouldn't work is like if you have the ones that are curved, unless if you have the curved start where it wraps over you or something like that, you know? Hmm. Because otherwise, the curve, the if you have it like where the it curves up and down, then it would be oh, yeah. like this sticking is, out at the bottom. I forgot. This actually has a full size ATX board too, so I think they had to modify the case. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot see, going on. That type of shit I'm scared of doing. Right. Case mods, but, I mean, unless it's like a cheap case, I guess. Right. You don't want to put your shit in it, and then all of a sudden the side comes off, and there goes your graphics card. Yeah. Ooh, I got to see what this uh, post from four years ago that has uh, 30, point, ne 30 negative points is. Uh, oh, you can go into negatives in the Reddit? I didn't oh, know yeah, that. yeah. People can downvote. <laughs> People can downvote it if you say something unpopular. Because, you know, anybody can still say stuff. It's still the internet. Yeah. It's still the internet. Yeah, that's so a good people, model. That's a good yeah. tagline. It's, it's the truth. So, like, they hide it by default, but if you click on it, um, oh, blah, 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 you're rich or found a really good paying job for a high school student, but nice setup. I'm jelly and 25 and can't afford any of that. And he says, no one said I was in high school, but it does seem as though stating it, the only thing that is required to do good around here. So I should try blah, 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 dorm setup for my college. Please... Uh, please uh, feel with me, college, college, uh, as in no money, and look what I have. Frank, what would you do if you were, like, magically turned back to 25, but, you know, you had all the, you know, your life was still the same, like, you know, uh -huh. you were still married and everything right now, but would you just, like, what would you do? Would you, like, get a different job or start doing this or that? Um. Well. I mean, I'm sure you would still stay married to well, yeah, your wife, but yeah. Well, what, what would you even ask then? Eh? 
I'm just I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to Okay, it's you know, sure like... and thinking out loud. <laughs> well, that's, I I said I'm, I'm sure like pretty much most of your life would still sit, stay the same, right? I mean, I would I like where I work. I just would try to harder to get promoted to another position because doing what I'm doing now this long is no. No, nah, son, no. Nah. Yeah. You wouldn't go back to school or nothing? Um, and let's see. When I was 25, that was, Jesus, that was 10 years ago. Um, yeah. So, Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, when I graduated school and when, when I graduated college, like I said, XP was brand new. So, in 08, what, what, what was the hotness? Um, so 2008. More like 2000. Nope. <laughs> the second setup is, is a twofer because I was looking at water cooled stations and this also having a small micro ATX. So I said, okay, I'm going to check this shit out here. So he. He he has a bunch of pictures of the actual build process and then one picture of the actual setup. So it's, it's a journey, Ian. It's a journey. <clears throat> not the not the band. I'm going to zoom in hands here because there's a lot going yeah. on. Now, as you can see, he's got a, a crammed a shit ton of nacho into this case here. So before I state what case he's got here, let me see. It's a... Uh, Originally with air cooling, da, 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 custom loop, da, 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 Oh, that RIPJ and yeah, Gamers no. Nexus and stuff. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Don't care. Um, oh, why not, man? Um, nah. Don't. You've been shit. getting into the other stuff lately, instead, huh? I've been. Uh, I I I I obsessively watch the same things over and over again, like. I've watched the same videos uh, so many times. Like I have to keep, I re hit the like button because it goes away. Cause I start watching another one. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I hate to say that's how I learn things, but like, uh, yeah, I, I reread shit. I, I've reread uh, books and shit that I've read before. Cause I'm like, why was I reading this? Oh yeah, this is really good. What happens? So it's, it's uh yeah I'm not I'm not really up to date on the live shit I just kind of go oh they post a new video yeah that's fucking boring so he's got one Noxio in the back two on the cooler one on the side of the graphics card because he got SLI and then two little eighty millimeters next to the power supply pointed at the GPUs mm. with some Dominator Platinum RAM tiny ass Noxio. Um, so that's when it was air cooled, and then, like I said, they de uh, deleted the point of no return. I noticed that my CPU temp started to creep up around 60 to 62 C after a long gaming sessions. I read online that people were having really good results from delaying their CPU, so I purchased a delay tool from Rocket Pool. The entire process, uh, while nerve wracking, but it's overall uh, quite simple. Um, now, if you look back at his uh, little setup, so he's got There's both like antifreeze in there, right? He's got both GPUs water cooled, and the CPU that you can barely see, and he's still running all those fans. So, wah, 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 wah. yeah. Well, not only is the fan on the or no, sorry, not only is the fan on the CPU huge. Or the, not the fan, the rad on the CPU tiny. Look at this little tiny uh, rad in between the two 80 millimeter fans. Hmm. 
and yeah. like and when taking the cards down to their bare PCB actually like made them shrink a lot because look how big they are here. Unless he hey, switched he said. Yeah. Unless he switched to different let me see here. Added a second 120 millimeter radiator and attempt to further improve cooling. Uh, uh, oh yeah, they got slim fans. Okay, let me see here. I'll do a slim fan. Right. Um, uh, coolant is UV green Mayhem's X1. Jump some both 1080 cards as well as the CPU. Stay around 52 degrees C. Overall, I'm quite happy with the performance. And I'll zoom enhance the actual setup mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. Now, see, they got the shitty, like, those are kind of like my um, cyber uh, acoustic or whatever or the hell they call the speakers that I have. But they're like, yeah. he, flipped them, he flipped them sideways. <laughs> An Alienware monitor, which is G-Sync, which I guess you would want. Looks like a Razer mouse. G-Sync. Like G unit. Yeah, I think that's a subwoofer on the desk, but whatever. I mean, over there to the right. Yeah. I think I can't tell. And I think that's a sound card in the front. Does he really need that though? What the sound card? Yeah. <laughs> I I get what you're saying there. And I think that's a switch there behind, like a internet switch. Look at X then. Clips Pro Media. Oh, well, hold on, dog. Hold on. I didn't realize that was Clips. Yeah. Like, Clips in there, you know? Search. Oh. Okay, so those are, oh, those are Clips speakers. So that is a sub. Look at me. Oh. Those subs on the desk. Ooh. But they're Clips. But they're cheaper. Mm. But, I mean, just all the shit that he crammed in this mother. I mean, look at the... Look at the reservoir. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Does he have pictures of that where it's like... Does he have, like, black light LEDs in there? UV or UV because it does he have any pictures with it all lit up? Nah, I think the cool well, the coolant he said is UV. I don't know if that's the brand. Let me see what he say here. Um, coolant is UV green mayhem's X1, right? But does he have like UV lights in there <laughs> or does no. it? He's just doing it if he does, he doesn't say it anywhere. You know, I, I've yet to see those uh, LED strips where you can do the uh, RGB and the ultraviolet. Oh. I mean, I don't know why he even has it, because I don't think that case has a window on it. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't have a window on it? I don't think it Let me... Uh, hold on. Let me look it up. Because Silverstone is either, like, you know, small form factor or, like, servers. So give me a second here. Google images. Huh. Old uh, NCX tech tips video of the fucking thing. Tell you how old this case is. Yeah, no, there's no fucking window. It's just a fucking box. The fucking box. Fucking it's fucking box. This is fucking it's a fucking box, man. Tiny ass fucking box. Tiny shit. But yeah, this is from uh, how long ago? This is from a year ago. So this is more than. And then one as one. Fresh PC setup. So it's, you know, fresh, 
fresh. So fresh and so clean, clean. So he's running on air. Um, BenQ monitor, got a mouse bungee. I got a, what is that, Ian? What kind of graphics card they got in there? Can you tell? Uh, ah, RTX. I can't yeah. tell if it's a TI or not, though. Um, comments probably say. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, small PC, huge mouse pad. And, like, then one, two, two or three comments on uh, what clock is that? <laughs> so that's an N case M1, which is a famous, like, shoebox size. Uh, Micro ATX or sorry, Mini ITX case with the 2080 Founders Edition, mm. nice. and then he's got a little album with the, all the parts. If it lets me click, there we go. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. That 24 pin uh, cable is just kind of fucking huge, though. Uh, does he have that RGB? Uh, he's got a couple little bits. I don't know. If, oh, it looks like a strip down there at the bottom. Oh, no, I mean the... Uh, I thought you were talking about the 24 pin was RGB. Oh, no, it's just a big... It's just a big fucking, like, bunch... It's like a bundle of cables. I don't know if the combs are thick or what. Hmm. And then, pile of parts. I don't care. Um, 2080. Here it is. When it's just the bare frame, zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see. Oh, yeah. By the way, that reminds me. One thing I thought you would find interesting, I should get the link for it, uh -huh. but you you know that EL wire that they uh -huh. would have in the computers and how they have, like, the sheets of it and stuff? Uh-huh. Uh, they started coming out with e EL paint. What? Yeah, they. I've I saw a couple videos on it where... Uh, people are starting to do it like on their cars and motorcycles and stuff and uh, it can conduct and everything. Okay. So that'd be, I was, it's really expensive though. It's like, I think hundreds of dollars just for like, for like a couple, like a square inch or something. Gotcha. But uh, I just thought it'd be cool because then you could do some yeah, you could do some EL whatever you want to paint, you know? Ah. Uh, huh. That's that's silly. The only problem with the EL is that it's not really like RGB then because you can't change the color on it. Right. No, it's, you know, it was cool when it came out. Uh, for those who are unaware, just imagine like the Tron suits. And that's pretty much L wire. Yeah. Electroluminescent. Now, I saw a guy uh, with this case previously who had a, a 1080 Ti, and he had a, a couple of fans underneath the graphics card to keep everything cool. And I thought that was kind of mm -hmm. counterintuitive because you have fans in the graphics card blowing down, and then you put fans under the, I don't know. I, I, it was so close, I couldn't see how he had them facing, so I wasn't sure how you know if it made sense to me. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, yeah, even when this is just the bare case, it's, you know, really kind of tight in there. It's all about the case. The case. Because, I mean, here, all I did was stick some LEDs on there. They make a mod where... Um, instead of a metal panel on the side, you can have a, a tempered glass panel. But I I don't know anything about that because I don't have this case. Just a Optimum Tech. Mm. He's a YouTuber I've started following out of Australia. He's got he's got the same case with a um, an Intel excuse me an Intel uh, chip and a uh, 1080. I don't remember uh, what all specs, but it's very similar. Right. I know with my case, you can switch out the acrylic window for tempered glass if you wanted to. <laughs> it would be cool because it would make sense to 
be able to have people do that instead of having to buy a whole new case just to make it acrylic or a tempered glass, you know? Right. I I don't know how this uh the side panel I think pops into those little slots there, like pegs actually go in. So I don't know how uh you would get that to hold on a timber glass case, but it'd be cool. I I mean, I've seen it. It can look good. I just do some double side tape, dude. Right. Some high glue. So yeah, so out of these three, which one would you say uh does it for you? Okay, so this is the first one, right? Well, this is the first one. The the five uh or sorry, four portrait monitors. Okay. And then the water cooled uh fucking box. With the shit ton of nacho fans. Okay. And then and then a shoebox with a twenty eighty. I think I know which one you're voting for already. Yeah, I gotta do three, one, two. So portraits uh, are pretty good. Yeah, plus I mean he's got dual graphics cards. I it, it's a problem though. It's, uh, I don't know which models they are, and I'm I don't want to bother looking through the, you know, thread to find what the hell they are. But it's four years ago. Hmm. And then you know, ten okay. eighties. These aren't TIs. It's impressive as fuck. I mean, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it kind of sucks not getting it, paying all this money for a card that's not gonna have TI in the title. But it's like that's right. just not worth it, man. I looked at all the dollars. Right. It, well, it depends on what what your resolution is, and all the benchmarks I looked at. I'll be gaming at 4K because I have a 4K monitor. So yeah. basically it's 10 frames per second difference. And I was like, man, I really want the t the TI version. When I started looking, okay, if I were to get the Strix, which, you know, the base model of the, you know, the 2080 is like uh, 860 something. Yeah. So like 850. Right. You go from like, uh, oh, I think it's like 869 or something stupid like that. But you go from that to uh, the 28 Ti, which is like 1299 or some shit like that. That's you're talking what 400 trying to buck four five hundred bucks for 10 frames a second. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, you got me fucked up. You got to stick with the asses, though, huh? Well, I mean, the. My the the build I have in my head right just right now as of yet it might change by January. Um, the build I have in my head I'm actually ripping off from uh, Bitwit. Uh, he built a uh, micro ATX uh, Threadripper machine, <laughs> and uh, his had a granted it had an Asus um, uh, an Asus Strix uh, Vega sixty four. And I was like, man, that looks nice, but it's Vega. Yeah. Mm, and even now, I hate to say it, Vega's overpriced. I mean... Well, all the cards are really technically overpriced right now. Yeah. I mean, still. I mean, unless when you go back a little older, like the 580s are going down, but I don't want to do 1080p gaming. Yeah. I don't do want to have... have. Oh, go ahead. I just don't want to do like Crossfire to do, you know, 1440. I want to do 4K all day. Yeah. 4K, yeah, man. Actually... 4K all day. All day, man. 4K all day. But yeah, they, all... they actually do have. You want to stick with ass... Ashes, though. They do have a. I mean, there there is a Strix version of the 2080, but they have the cheaper version, which is just a two fan. Yeah, the, the dual. Yeah. That one's going for on Amazon. It's eight thirty nine. Um Yeah. Yeah, actually I think He's, the Ace Aces one is they're sold out on Amazon. He and Newegg. Yeah. I mean they all sell out. They do have the Aces Turbo RTX, which is 
the blower style, I think. Blower. Which is just the one. Isn't that what you call just the one fan to the right? Uh, blower. Yeah, it's got a fan in the front, or a fan in the front, and it blows all the air out the back. Yeah. And but, I mean, thankfully, it looks like for the Founders Edition, they're going away from that, right? Yeah, the Founders Edition is now a dual fan setup because they figure, well, fuck, that's what everyone else is doing. Might as well do that too. See, I saw this. I saw the video for this setup, and I said, okay, I want that. So. They do have PNY. I forgot about PNY as a video card maker, but it doesn't seem to be getting good reviews. Right. I remember uh, PNY, they always used to uh, do like mainly just like uh, like the quadro cards, the pro cards. Uh, yeah. I uh, I know we're not in the news stories yet, doo, 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 but I, I want to go in while we're talking about the 2080s because this topic. So you remember a few months back when I was like, oh, Vega, oh, I want Vega, Vega, Vega. Um, yeah. And I'm, I was, like, oh, I want Navi. I want Navi. <clears throat> right. I'm like, please rub my nipples, nipples, nipples. I got to. I'm just hoping for something that's cheaper and better and faster and. Or makes this, you know, makes the RTX cards cheaper <laughs> competition. But anyway, so the when I was looking at um, Vega 64, there was a gigabyte card I was looking at. In fact, I'll pull it up right now while we're, we're talking about it. Yeah. Sorry for the default white screen. Whoop. But, uh, okay, here's the... Come on. Okay, here's the Gigabyte 64. Three out of five eggs. Um, 500 bucks. Aww. You were getting puppy kisses. No. Yeah. You're a sweet. No. Yeah. Such a nice girl. No. <laughs> yeah, do you I, I forget how many dogs do you have? Currently we yeah. have two. You just have two now? Yeah, the one passed. Before you had three then? Yeah. Yeah. What was that like? Was that that must have been like a lot to take care of though? Like, um, at first, because I remember I came from a having only one cat to having dogs. Oh, yeah. When I, yeah, when I lived by myself, I had a cat, and then when I met my wife, she already had dogs. So, hmm. but uh, it, anyway, is any of yours girls though? Um, Amelia's a girl. We have one oh, girl okay. and one boy. It was two girls and a boy. No, but uh, it, was, it was an ovary fest. Anyway, so this one I was looking at because you know me, I want to have more screens. Screens. I mean, right now yeah, I have. This, what are the ports on this thing? Well, this was the one. This was the uh, Vega sixty four I was looking at. It had six ports, which was one, two, three, four. Looks like. Four Three display ports and three HDMI. And it can run all six at once, I think. If I remember correctly. That was the thing. See this? Uh let me go to whoop. Where's the little info specs? Like, yeah. I really hope this is food. There's a part of this couch is like a little spot is kind of crusty. <laughs> nah. I really that's hope poop. that's food. You know, poop was food at one time. Yeah, that's, that wasn't a thing in poop, man. Right. Hopefully anyway. it's not jizz. Oh. Anyway. Put a black light on here. <sighs> See if Ian's things. little Ian's little brother's on that couch. Oh. Uh. So. Yeah. See, it's, this one supports six monitors because, like I said, I I have four, but I want to get. A drawing monitor at some point, just so I don't have to draw on a separate device, right? Right. By the way, yours is still out for repair, right? No, it's it's fine. I just oh, haven't had, I haven't been into the drawing stuff like, lately. Uh, 
I the only other thing I have to do is I, I have to put some spacers on it. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember you saying it didn't thing. yeah, it didn't quite fit just right. Yeah. But uh no, you're uh you wanna start getting into some drawing a little bit, you know, because like once you get thread ripper and stuff, I'm sure you're Red that'll ripper. it'll really get uh help out with like the content creation programs, you know. Well, hold on, dog. Let me, let me let me show you something here. So I was like, okay, 2080s, man. I want I want a 2080, but you know, man, it'd be a bitch if I buy a 2080 and it only like we discussed, it only supports four screens, and that'd be a bitch because okay. then if I wanted to get another monitor, I either have to get something else and not run it in SLI because it'd be stupid to run SLI because then it might dumb down my card or I'd have to get an equal card. And was that all the RTX line? Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to go from 2080 to, tw you know, 2070 or whatever. Because well, right, I but the, I don't know if the TI has more ports or not. I, I don't think it does, but anyway, mm. I don't think so. Uh, you could, you'd be balling and get T2080 TIs. Hold you on. Get the money. <laughs> <clears throat> balling, balling. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, the Zotac here, I mean, just, just for the sake of argument, is a 28Ti, and it's only got four ports. Yes, the one is a mini bullshit thing for, you know, VR headsets that no one uses yet. Mm -hmm. Just like everything. I've been kind of wary with the Zotac, because I really don't have much experience with them. I don't... It, either but then they've always done nvidia shit so that's another reason why i don't yeah no but anyway so oh this isn't the one i wanted this other article on it sorry so copy so what were what was your uh solution then well hold on I'm, this isn't a solution this is this is something i stumbled upon i said oh hey gigabyte makes a is coming out with a new 2080 oh i didn't know that oh what what kind of uh kind of shit does it have here and then I, because I, I saw, I was like, man, that's a nice looking little fan setup. And boy, oh, that IO looks kind of big. So I looked at it. Now, now zoom in here. So how many, how many <laughs> ports, how many ports do you see on there? Let's zoom back out a little. I see six. Right. And what so, are all those display port? Um, three display port and three HDMI. Hmm. Make it so pretty you, even, Steven. So you'd be like, oh, man, that's cool, right? And, you know, this one, free gigabyte, 650-watt power supply. I don't need a 650. Might it be cool because then I could resell it. So I was like, oh, man, that's cool. Okay, okay, cool. And I was, you know, like, man, I could really get that. And, like, at the time, it didn't have – I don't think it still even has the uh, clock speeds or anything on the fucking thing because this is a just-launched card. But, you know, I, like I said, it's it's not too bad looking, you know. And like they well, took it, they got, that's like the bare minimum of what you would want to have with the RTX right. Card. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like I want to do a thousand watt because eventually I get if I get the 32 core, it's gonna take a lot more. So, um, anyway, and wait, yeah, like, what, where's the I, I can see a buck coming in there, <laughs> but well, see, like also they changed like the, the like I, I saw a video on it, it's kind of funny. Uh, they're like, yeah, we changed their style because see. The older gigabyte is black and orange, you know. Mm, yeah. And and then the top of the card has a copper, you know, thing right over top of the actual die. You know, it's what their you know cards look like. Well, then the newer generation they kind of look you know a little more mature. They got you know black and then like a gun aluminum metal whatever you know. Well, it's like Jay said that these AIBs need to just start doing uh, neutral colors, you know. Right, and let your motherboard do all the colors, because like there's still like a copper kind of here in this, you know, uh, Oris uh, little plaque in the middle, but it's so understated, you know, it doesn't, it kind of blends in. It's cool. It lends itself to whatever you're trying to do. So I was like, okay, this is cool. It's cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. You know, I'm, I'm like, I can hang back and wait for the you know reviews to come and see what the actual clocks are, because I don't want to waste time getting something that the slower clock. I'll just get you know. If I have to, I'll get like a, a an Asus 2080 and then um, get like a fucking 1080 or something just to run 
uh, you know, another monitor on th because then it'll look kind of similar. It won't, you know what I mean? They'll like complement each other. If I, if yeah, I like, can, what was that where you can, you can run a different card and do, can you do like multiple monitors then without needing the bridge? Yeah. You, it, you can run multiple cards. just not an SLI. Right. The SLI part just means that they it shares it for the games or something. Um, they basically um run together like they're linked together as one versus two cards uh in one time uh two cards at the same time running just different monitors. They don't have to talk basically. Oh, okay. Versus an SLI, they have to. That's what the whole main connection is and all that. Um, but anyway, I mean, SLI is kind of dying anyway. <sighs> couldn't you get, couldn't you do like a, dude, if you, if you do like a 2080 and then couldn't you do a Vega too? I mean, you could, you'd but have you like have... a, you'd have six and six more then or something. Well, the thing is though, a, a Vega takes a lot more power. So I'd have to worry about my power supply and B it would overheat because Vega's fucking hot. Yeah. And C, if you run both, you're gonna have di you're gonna have conflicting dra graphics drivers because you'd have the Nvidia drivers and then the Radeon yeah, drivers. True. Which some people have that because they have you know Radeon uh, um, drivers in an A in an APU, and then they get an Nvidia card, so they have both. Yeah, they do it for that. Uh... A new thing, or you could do Raven Ridge is it? sync on the yeah, yeah, that little hack. But, but anyway, but back but to I'm the saying they could do the free sync with the with the Nvidia monitor, yeah, yeah, that, that, shit. that we were talking about last week or whatever. But the but the butt that you said you saw coming, right? Right, you want you want you want to guess what it is, how stupid it is? Well, I I know it's gonna be really stupid, but I I don't know if I can guess what it is. Okay. I did, I, you know, I'm like, man, this is cool. I'm, so I'm reading all about this clock, or this card. I'm like, okay, the clocks aren't released yet. Like I said, I could hang back and, you know, wait for, uh, wait for reviews. So I'm like, okay, okay. So, so let's see here. What kind of ports are they? Cause I, I was like, I want to make sure I actually looked at them. Cause it, if I'm going to get a car with a bunch of ports, I want to make sure like I get the right cables and all that. Cause I've only got, uh, well, I I have two monitors now that have display ports, but only one of them the display port works, so I would only have one display port, so the rest would be all HDMI. So yeah. I'm like, okay, so let me see what all I need. So I'm like, okay, it's got three HDMI and three display port and multi monitor support. Okay, here's the big kicker. Four. Wait, what? So this motherfucker has six ports. But you can only run four screens at a fucking time. Wait a minute, you, somebody somebody making this card can't do can't do do math. Yeah, they can't math. They can't like, math. And I saw a review of this, and the guy's like, "Yes, you can have this configuration. So it's like you can either have three Display Port and an HDI HDMI, or you can have an or four or three. HDMI and one display port. <laughs> and I'm like, are you fu and then I started looking at this like, okay. I was like, I'm, I was like, I can, I can math. Hold on. Let me, let me look at the calculations here. Um, 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 okay. Driver, CUDA course, who gives a shit? Um, max resolution here. 70, 7680 by 4320. And I did the math. That equates to 1080 times 4. If you take mm. both measurements and divide them by 4, one's 1080, the other's 1920. So I was like, okay, well, hold on. So the gigabyte that I was looking at earlier from fucking, uh, you know, Vega here, 7680 by 4320 with six monitors. Same maximum resolution with with only four. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the clock speeds are in this son of a bitch. But so what are those like dummy 
ports then? And I don't I don't understand because it says seven video out ports because they still have that micro whatever. So I I'm so I'm, if you use the micro, is that like for you like you know, only VR. have three left then? <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't I mean I I don't know if this is a fuck up on because Newegg wasn't the only one that did. There was a guy on YouTube that's the either Gigabyte or Oris's channel. And it's funny because he's got a very thick accent and he's like, oh, trying to be funny. And yeah. like, he doesn't actually give, he's like, here's the, you know, I'm announcing this. And he doesn't give any actual specs. He just says, you can run four monitors and then goes away. I'm like, he's like, okay, so I already said he, it's got RGB. It's, yeah, I, 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 I forgot to ask about that. What's the RGB? Well, see, that was I. I hold on, I I got a another article where they kind of review it because it's this is just a new new thing that's been announced just as you know recently. So it's got RGB around the rings of the. the, the hold on, let me show you the view of the thing. Okay, zoom enhance. Whoops. <laughs> Can you see that a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so that's the bottom of the card with the fans. So here's this article. You can see the rings around the fans have RGB. And the middle fan spins in a different direction than the outer two fans because they figure that's better for airflow. I don't know if that's bullshit. Might be interesting. Um, mm. but I don't know. I don't think this article even lists the clock speeds. Even I kind of just quickly looked at this because I was like, um, there are plenty of display options on our streams and include HDMI, display port, and a single USB, yeah, USB type C port. I guess that's for VR headsets. Um, comes with a dual 8 pin connector and, and, and further, so later, uh, so yeah, they don't they don't really say much about this fucking thing. I'm I'm going to have to sit back for the reviews, but like in the one YouTube video I saw from Ace or sorry, Oris, they spend more time talking about the RGB than they do about like the actual Yeah. And like the comments are great cuz everyone's like, "Oh, another childish fucking thing with damn RGB." And mm-hmm. one of them, the guy's like, oh, great, fucking RGB gaming, G-A-Y, me. Oh, yeah, did you see they had uh, Linus did a review of the gaming SD card? Yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they for, for your mobile games. But, I mean, like, I don't, I don't understand and if your maximum, you know, monitors is like four fucking, you know, 1080 monitors, no. Yeah. Will, will I even be able to run my four monitors on it? Because I have to use an adapter for my fourth one. I mean, it says seven video outputs, but it's not at the same time. And it's a triple slot card. So if I get this, I don't think I'd have room for another card. The only reason I'd be considering it is because I want to be able to plug six monitors into it at once. So I'm looking forward to the fucking, uh, you know, uh, video reviews because I'm not going to buy it and find out. Yeah, well, this is this is the one that I want though. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of see. <sighs> Just tell me which one. I'm on the. I have new egg up right now. It's the MSI one. MSI 2080. Yeah, it's got a cool. A I like the backplate on it. Yeah. You get? Are you sure you don't want the Duke? Nah, the Duke. The. It looks like Dukey. It's got. It's got RGB dog. Right, but I I think this one was had like a faster clock speed or something. Let me see here. Uh, specifications. 
the boost the trio had a nice back play. I I really and got got him by the back play, the all silver back play with the logo. Uh, uh, yeah, this one's like all black. Yeah, Come on. the the Duke's got a black one with yeah. the dragon. I had a driver. I was in the bathroom and the doorbell rang, and I went and answered the door, and the driver said, "Man." I'm ringing the doorbell and you didn't come out. And I said, hey, man. I was like, you can't hurry the fudge, dragon. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the boost clock, which is the fastest you're going to see it without overclocking anything, is uh, 800, or 1845. Yeah. And you said you're looking at the uh, trio? Trio, yeah. Spamifications. Goes to eighteen sixty, so faster by what is that? Like twenty or something. Yeah, twenty ish. Yeah, I would mainly the trio. I mainly go for the aesthetics, you know. Aesthetic. The aesthetics. I mean, look at the black plate. Tell me that that's not sexy. Oh, I already clicked off it. Hold on. Hold on, mother. Oh yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and it's like you said before, when you put the card in, the back plate is the main thing you're looking at the whole well, time. Well, here you go, dog. Hold up. You could get Hold up. You could get an MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Gaming X Trio plus a Corsair 1000 watt power supply for $969. Hmm. That does sound like a good deal. Yeah, and then you can give me that uh, thousand watt power supply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and um, which is a hundred and forty nine dollar value. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a twenty five a twenty five percent tariff on that, sir. You're you're gonna have to put five on it. Yeah, I got five on it. Oh damn! You get a twelve hundred watt power supply. The Duke. The Duke. I've never heard of that before. I, before investigating for a new card this right. month, I've never heard of the Duke. I'm like, what the fuck is? Right, and then taking and, a Duke. And then it won't go away after that. <laughs> are we taking a Duke or playing Duke Nukem on here, or wh what are we doing? Yeah, Sir Duke. Dukey. Dukey. Um. But yeah, how many ports did that have? By the way, the MSI cards. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are all uh, all of them like they can't all be just four? They gotta have some. I thought AIBs usually have some kind of variance on. <laughs> they're usually you know when i was looking at the 1080s most of them it's just whether they're display port or hdmi hmm. but yeah four one hdmi uh, and three display port and it sucks like you can't filter by like you can do by you know featured items lowest price you can't go uh show me the fastest well you can do fastest clock speed over here can't you yeah uh, what what's it under? Core clock. Yeah. Boost clock. That's the one I want. Uh, Boost clock. There's eleven that go up to eighteen sixty. Mm. Well, ours are only showing two. <laughs> well, you got your trio, and then you got a uh, the Seahawk. Uh, I'm guessing that's a hybrid because there's a radiator on it. Seahawk. God, that's an ugly card. <laughs> you know, like the thing hanging off it like that? Like a little baby monkey. Nah, nah, dog. Not at all. Nothing. Now, at the all. 28, there's not a whole lot of choices for the RTX cards, man. 
Yeah. At you, least not right now, you know. You kind of get what you get. But like I said, I'm not buying just yet. You're holding out. You're, cro- you're hoping, crossing your fingers that you said maybe Navi will save us. Well, that and I'm hoping I get some fucking money. Oh, you should get some money. Christmas is coming out, man. Well, I'm saying, you know, right now, if I bought this, it'd just be practicing. I'd, I'd reach in my pocket, and I'd hand the guy imaginary money, and he'd go, there's nothing in your hand, sir. And i go, yeah, there is. There's money. Take it. <laughs> that pass go. I got some fake money. That's right. Okay, so time for the news. Dun, 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 The news with Ian and me. Sound I look forward time. to you doing the typewriter. Okay. That's my story time. Oh, so that was where I started off. I was talking about these uh, stupid graphics cards that's like, okay, I got all excited. I was all boner, boner. Nope. So ba- basically, this article is about they they're all just talking about the RGB. I mean, yeah, like that article and like the YouTube video, the entire video I watched. The most he says is that the middle fan spins a different direction, and then it, it takes four ports out of the six. W- what are the others just there for decoration? They're strictly ornamental. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I, I had a. It's unheard of. Say, go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I had a joke, but I can't remember exactly. Go ahead. I'm trying to recall it. Well, it's not unheard of for uh, hardware makers to have d- dummy things. AMD. Dummy dies. I mean, that was how uh, Threadripper was originally had. The four dies, only two were actually real. Right, but that that was kind of like a good template. This is just a bad template. <laughs> oh, how is a priest like a Christmas tree? Oh. The balls are strictly ornamental. <laughs> that's terrible. I, see, that's what I was trying to remember. Okay, so... The FCC tells court it has no legal authority to impose net neutrality rules. You, 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 this is kind of like your news, so I mean. The FCC yep. defends repeal in court, claims broadband isn't telecommunications. Back I up mean, on that the, thing. The whole, their whole way they got rolled back net neutrality is because they they said, oh no, it's not it's not telecommunication. The, the, it's like they, uh, Trump appointing a guy into the EPA and saying, oh no, dumping, dumping poison into the lakes isn't polluting. That's freedom sauce. Mm-mm. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, basically, the, I mean, they are the body of government that decides what the word is is when it, t- when it comes to electronics and telecommunications and broadband, right? Right. So re- when, the, you know, when they tell the courts, I mean, there's really not a whole lot. I mean, they, they present the case, and they're playing with a stacked deck at this point. Even though they're not listening to the people because the people don't, fucking want this right heck most of the people in the fcc don't want it yeah like you know but the major well the majority voted it out so you know their appointees and all that shit um yeah but the mud that's all trump one is i'm not trying to be biased i know i said like trump appointed this but that's really what happens and i have to give him credit he did appoint a few people to everybody that needs appointed it's a still a bunch that aren't. By the way, since you have a Jeep Pi, the Jeep Pi's 5G plans make it harder for smaller ISPs to deploy broadband. Yeah, he's trying to get us stuck in the goddamn dark ages. I mean, 
Five giggities. You, you can't tell us, oh, no, you're happy with this. No, I actually went faster. No, you're happy with this. This paper, Aren't I you happy? Says, well, a place I worked at, when we switched to a new system, the week before it launched, they sent us an example of what we're supposed to tell people when they ask us about this new system. And in the beginning of it, it's like, I'm very excited to be using this new system. So you're telling us that we're happy with it before we even use it. That's that's not good. Uh, it, it's, it says the FCC is defending the net neutrality repeal against a lawsuit filed by more than 20 state attorneys generals, consumer advocacy groups, and tech companies. The FCC's opponents... What? Sorry, just flipping back over to your just because I was sipping a drink. Sipping on that cherry ice scissor up. You know, it's not bad. It's like a it's if you want if you like ice, but you'd like a little bit of cherry, it's a height. It's high. It's um, high. The nice. FCC's argument is that its net neutrality rules are illegal, is uh, notable for a couple of reasons. Judges at the DC Circuit uh, Appeals Court ruled in 2016 that the rules were legal, allowing them to remain in place despite the broadband industry's attempt to overturn them. The FCC repealed the net neutrality rules anyway after the majority changed hands from Democrats to Republicans. In defending the repeal, Pied's FCC isn't merely claiming that the rules were a bad idea. The FCC is claiming that it had no authority to impose such rules. So they're saying they had no power to impose the fucking rules. Yeah. They're like, oh, not only did we... You know, did we not heed those rules? We had no legal power to rule them anyway. So he's trying to say, even if we do try to take away from us, <laughs> golly gee, it's not ours anyway. Uh, I mean, it gets it gets more complicated with the defining broadband. It communicates the FCC's argument that broadband isn't telecommunications hinges on Pi's interpretation of of the Communications Act, which specifically defines telecommunications as the transmission between or among points specified by the user of information of the user's choosing without change in the form of, or content of the information as sent and received. It's right. the offering of telecommunications for a feed directly to the public. Right, and they don't think it... Oh, no, that's different. How is it any different? Yeah. Oh no, it just is. That's that's only for f telephones. This is the internet. It's different. They, the FCC's new brief argues that broadband is an information service. <sighs> yes, they no. It's a transmission service that no, transmits just... that transmits in information. And they're focus. They're not narrowing the focus so that it, they think it. They think this should hold up, and it's just not going to do it. Hey, if if Pi says it's a service where fairies deliver zeros and ones to you, that's what it is. The internet is a series of tubes. I mean, he's like a salesman that's really bad at selling something and just getting out there and lying a shirt off, and you're like. That's just not true, man. And he goes, yeah, it is, yeah. See, I got this thing that tells me it is. <clears throat> Speaking of bad salesmen, when I was in college, a teacher I had, I'm going to call him a teacher, not a professor, because this little shit wasn't anything. Anyway, he went to Target, and he said he was buying something. And the salesperson, he said, hey, do you have any more of these in back? And the guy goes, oh, no, I don't, I don't have any more in the back, because I got this gun that tells me there's none in the back. And he's like, he hadn't scanned anything at this point. So I said, well, might you want to scan this thing and see if it tells you there's more in the back? Oh, yeah. So he scans it. Oh, no, there's none in the back. So he already made up his mind before he scanned it that there was none in the back. So my teacher at the time, I got to give him credit, just bust open the door of the back and went in there and said, excuse me, you got any of these fucking things? Because he was, he was redoing the light switches in his house and the light switch covers right. they had. They were cool, but he wanted a whole case of them so he could redo his whole house so they'd all match. 
And mm-hmm. he walked in and said, you got any of these? And the lady says, oh, excuse me, sir. What are you looking for? So I'm looking for some of these. I want to buy a whole case of them. The lady found them. And he grabbed them and took them up front. And he said, hey, man, I found some more of those case, you know, those switch covers. He's like, oh, yeah. He's, it's, yeah, in the back. <laughs> so that's kind of what he's doing here. Oh, no, that's not there. Because we, you know, it, like you're going to see that episode of The Simpsons where Lisa becomes a vegetarian. And it's like, I have a crazy friend who thinks it's wrong to eat meat. Is my friend crazy? No, just ignorant. <laughs> Well, it, it's kind of ironic, though. It's like we want to keep these protections put in place, uh, but we want the company that's acting like an idiot right now to be responsible for it, you know? Yeah, I mean, the comp- the, so the it's people- like we, this company should have they should have the power to make sure they don't do uh, bad stuff, but. They're not exactly be- doing good right now, you know. No, it's they're acting like it's not their responsibility because we're too stupid to understand what their job actually is. Amazon patents Alexa tech to tell if you're sick, depressed, and sell you meds. Oh yeah, I'm start- I got some uh, tinfoil hat, uh, some articles with that here. So just be prepared for that. I don't know what he. This, it sounds kind of, I mean, you would think that it could be, like, a good idea on paper, but I don't know, man. I mean, thing is, is a, you you just say something that sounds like it, and she'll hear, hear you and start, you know, telling you, and people are accidentally... one on you. Right, uh, people don't, are, don't kill yourself, we're calling the authorities <clears throat> right now. Right, and people accidentally order shit already with the shit, I mean... And send their messages to you know Bob from the office. Oh boy, the patent titled "Voice Based Determination of Physical and Emotional <coughs> Characteristics of Users." <coughs> That's only because it can't be titled uh, "The Fakey Fakers and Bullshit Bad Idea." <laughs> what well, doesn't like? Isn't like Siri like offer like support numbers like if you say you're hey, can, Siri, I'm gonna off myself, you know? Well, I think that's in response because didn't they originally like suggest places you could go to buy rope and shit? Oh shit, I didn't hear about that. That that would be yeah, that would be fucked up. I, th- I think that's what it was. So eventually they went and tried to write it after you know a little late. Um, so are these all like a uh, tinfoil hatty? Uh, a little bit more. I think rest of the tech articles are, yeah. Oh boy, let's see here. Senators to Google, why didn't you disclose Google Plus vulnerabilities sooner? Um, uh, cause we probably, we thought no one was on Google Plus. Actually, a lot of the articles are like, granted, there's only so many people, cause not a lot of people signed up for fucking Google Plus or not a lot still use it. I signed up for it, but I never fucking used it because they changed it every damn week. Right. But, but uh, yeah, NPR did a bunch of stories about this. Oh, hey. They... What's up? What, uh... There he is. There he is. What'd it do? Hey, you got a giant drink. Hmm. Was that some uh, power in? No, this is a uh, branch chain amino acids. That's dishwashing liquid. <laughs> oh, is it coming from someone who's doing the bitch work around the house? What? That's dishwashing liquid, bitch. How you know? Because I'm a grown up. Now nah, that's his blinker fluid. He's topping it off. Annie for you. What's up, buddy? Oh, check this out. Oh, uh, he's letting his hair loose. No, oh. <sighs> he saw Charlie's my angels. Hair he's back got, and forth. He's got to do the hair flip. Yeah. Oh no! That was something. Uh. But it's I it's darker. Almost, uh, almost like six, seven inches off the top. 
Oh, really? Yep. We we don't really look at you. Bitch, I'm the only one worth looking at on this podcast. <laughs> and you know why? Bitch, we are back in business. Huh. After two months, I am 100% cleared for the gym. Do you know what that means? Mm, no. We are fucking lifting tonight. Oh, no. He's like me. I am off the fucking shelf. I am back. Don't shit your pants, Dean. Do you, do you deadlift? Uh, not often because I tore my hamstring a couple years ago. But oh. that's going to be something I'm going to have to get back into, yes. Oh. Do you, uh, Are you gonna drink that while you're lifting? Yes. Are you going to... Um... Did you follow uh, Furious Pete's The Road to 700? I, I did, yeah. I don't follow Furious Pete, so. Huh? I don't follow Furious Pete. Oh, uh, he's cool. He eats that a was, lot of stuff. I watched that. It was pretty cool. Isn't he doing a bench press road to like 400 or something like I that? Don't, he's hard to keep up with. That dude's all over the fucking place. That dude also does some dumb shit every once in a while. And I, like, there's only a couple people I specifically follow on YouTube as it pertains to fitness. One of which is C.T. Fletcher. One before he died was Rich Piana, and uh, there's not a whole lot of other people I follow right now. Um, he's very inspirational because, like, when his cancer came back, he's like, I'm not gonna let it get me down, you guys deserve better, and he just stayed positive. So he took a selfie yeah. every day when he went in for chemo and fucking you know, radiation, where he had a smile on his face. I was like, Damn, you're gonna get it, that's the way to do it. You know what you can't be positive about, right? What's that? Google Plus, motherfuckers! It's dead! Woohoo! Senators, to Google, why didn't you disclose Google Plus vulnerability sooner? <laughs> well, you know what I said? <laughs> Not enough people subscribe to fucking Google Plus, so I figured, you know, when that made people... <laughs> Because they downplayed it on the news articles. They're like, only, what was it, a couple thousand people or whatever got their information compromised? Yeah. Hashtag, who gives a fuck? 500,000 people affected. Yeah. Three GOP senators, one of them. Yeah, no one gives a fuck about those three senators. They can go fuck themselves. But uh, (laughs) here's one everyone cares about. Your tinfoil hat news. Robo callers evolved to sidestep... New call blocking rules, AG tells FCC. <laughs> Wait, would you say tinfoil hats? Yeah, because these are all like conspiracy and would, would that be made privacy? Aluminum foil. Aluminium. Aluminium. I, I had a similar story XYZ. here. I have a similar story here, Ian. Um just throw it up while we got this one up. Okay. Is uh, thirty five states tell the FCC, up in the air. Thirty five states tell the FCC to get off its ass and do something about spoofed robocalls. Yeah, I think I did see that different flavor of it. Um, my problem with the robocalls, I got one this morning on my way to work. I'm on the fucking road at five forty five in the morning, and my phone. Goes, really? Which, uh, actually calling someone before, I think it's like 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning is legal anyway. So, I'm, I pick it up and it's like... It, That's and, harassment. Yeah, I'm like, who the... I, I'm, the worst I can think is something happened, so someone's calling me from a number I don't have saved on my phone. Because someone's going to call me that early, you know. And it's like, yeah, uh, hello? And then a couple That's seconds... Like- Go ahead. You better be dying if you're gone that early. You know? Right. Are you on fire? Text me that shit. Huh. My boss doesn't even call me that early. She just calls me when I pull into the garage. But no, <laughs> I answer. I'm like, hello? And this is a test call. And I'm like, fuck you. This is a fuck you call. <laughs> the sun's not even out yet, bitch. Well, did you get any of those, the fake ones where it says, oh yeah, there's some serious allegations against you and you're uh, oh, I don't listen to set... them. Oh, yeah. What? I've had those a couple times. Uh, I had some guy who... We're going to send the cops after you. His, his name was John Jackson from the 
was it? Um, no, this shit was like a robot, automated voice. Internal Revenue Service letting you know that you owe us thirty-five thousand dollars in back taxes. I'm like, really, really. Mm-hmm. I don't answer it. it. I look at the number, and usually it's a phone number that's almost like mine, but a couple digits off. Yep. Which is yeah, like, they they, okay. they have that now. That isn't that what this article is about, where they they can use like your local area code or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, spoofing. Virtually anyone can okay. be a robocaller. <sighs> don't you miss yeah, the days where it's... you just do spam calls or spam text? I knew a guy right. who once uh, did a got downloaded one of those programs and sent a text message every thirty seconds to his ex girlfriend for two days. Wow! Wow! He was yeah. pissed. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Just... Yeah, oh. if I don't recognize the number, I don't answer it. I mean, if it's important, then they leave a fucking message, you know. Oh no, it's a text. Right, I'll Google their number. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do. Uh, was it um, reverse engineering the number? Yeah, usually just Google. Reverse look up. <laughs> well, there you go. Reverse good old reverse look up. I, just, I mean, you can get I, apps I, where it'll tell you if it's like a spam number or something like that. My my phone actually does that by default now. It goes suspected uh, spam number, and I'm like, well, I wasn't going to answer it anyway. And it'll tell you like the city game stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 bitch. I mean, yeah. Um specifically the um specifically the coalition is telling FCC they want to build on the 2017 call blocking order allowing service providers to use net technology to detect and block illegal spoof calls, even if they're coming from numbers that seem legitimate, according to the New York Attorney General's press release. So, yeah, it's a problem. I mean, whether or not we see any outcome. Yeah, doesn't carriers, aren't they? I mean, they run the whole infrastructure, don't they? Can't they tell where the number is coming from and stuff? The calls are coming from inside the house. Yeah. It's your dog. Your dog's calling you. Oh. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. PSN online ID change feature entering PlayStation preview program soon. Yeah, we have a couple of dog <coughs> articles. I don't understand this. Can someone break it down for Franklin? I don't speak PlayStation. Okay. So people have been asking for a long time that uh, they regret certain uh, PlayStation game IDs and you haven't been able to change them for ages. Uh-huh. Uh, so now PlayStation's like, okay, we're going to give, give, give you the opportunity to change your, your username. Essentially, once oh, for no. free. Yeah, once for free, right. then you got to pay for it afterwards. But I'm like, number one, if you're if you're stupid enough to make Jim Joe loves sixty nine butt sex, you fucking have to live with that. You should have to live with that for being a fucking moron. So, like um, when your when your gamer tag is Jew balls. Yeah. It, no, yeah, and you want to change it to Jew balls too. But on the other side of that, at least they're giving you a free option once. But after that, if you're gonna come up with uh, I love big booties and I cannot lie 97 you should have to live with that unless you want to pay for it yeah the reason they were doing that was to you know like try to curb creepers and stuff right yeah but I mean seriously it's if so I, I can understand to a certain extent like maybe if you had your last name and like you got divorced or something you want to change your last name but certain things yeah. like, if you're going to be stupid enough to make that 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 kind of a decision when you're 19, you, you're going to have to live with that unless you want to change your game, or like at least in my opinion. But but that's just me being, uh, you know, obtuse. <laughs> well, sometimes it might be a it could be by accident if you're not paying attention. And it's like you do a typo or something, you know? Yeah. Huh. But I mean, they. I guess the thing is, is they said uh, it'll show your old thing on there too. And then it'll have your, you know, your main new thing. But so you'd be like, "Hey, homie, this is my old. I'm, I was Jew Balls one, and then now I'm Jew Balls two. So you know it's me." The funny thing is, I actually knew a guy that was his gamer tag, and then he let his son use it, and his son uh, goes by it. So when he logs in, uh, his son was like, 
is that Jew balls or daddy's Jew balls? Because he made his own gamer tag called daddy's Jew balls. <laughs> anyway, hook nose and balls. But yeah, but but that's your standard breakdown of it. It's not it's not really super important. But you know, people online are all like, "Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!" Oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, What's do you uh do you do online a lot, Doug? Not a whole lot. <clears throat> nah, you don't pwn people. <sighs> you know, there was a, a time where I thought about getting into like online gaming with Diablo three because I love Diablo uh, three. That is one of my favorite games I've ever played. It's the only, it's the, one of the few games within the past, um, I think it's uh, maybe past three or four years, I've actually completed beginning to end, not including like, uh, you know, uh, difficulty increases. But like, whenever I go back to Diablo, I spend three straight weeks doing nothing but playing Diablo. So that, that, I, I think it is that good of a game. Well, I found this article funny. I I actually saw this. Um, I oh, this uh, evolution. I I saw thing. the 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 like all the because I subscribe to I'm a, I'm a member of a, the free games on Steam subreddit. Um, yeah. So they had evolution uh, is free to own on Steam. So you know it's, it's a yeah, free it's, game doesn't look horrible. So I went ahead. It's free for now. That's the thing. They're like, you know, go go ahead and get it before it goes up for sale. I'm like, well, fire my whole get it. So, marketing a small game is on Steam can be tricky. The flood of new releases. I can, I can explain it to you. Basically, the guy, he uh, in order to get his fan base up, he get gave away a bunch of free keys, and then have, people started selling them illegally. Then, and so he banned a bunch of people, and a lot of people got uh, unfairly banned. And then he's uh. He started giving away the game for free because it made a mistake. But it's like, are you really surprised people are going to start selling your shit after you give away a bunch of keys, you know? Yeah. Welcome to Steam, where intelligence doesn't count and dumbasses don't matter. I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> I mean, I got it because it was free, but yeah, I read the, you know... Once you realize that people are, you know, selling it and making money off of something you gave away for free, that's the only recourse is just make it fucking free. Yeah. It's like, I was giving away for free, but now I'm trying to be super serial. I want you to sell this shit. Right. Well, you know, all that does is hurt the people that were trying to make money over, you know, you anyway. And it's your thing. You should be allowed to make money. So if he comes out with point, you know, version two and it's like a dollar, I might get it to, you know. Say fuck those, uh, you know, low ballers. He yeah. wants money. I want your money. He wants crude oil. Ancient nuclear waste is teaching us about radioactive storage today. Okay, Ian, explain this one. Um. <laughs> uh, exp- I'll say. My ancient nuclear waste is no. teaching us about. Radioactive storage today, and that's I read it. that. Oh, no, no. Basically, this is basically uh, nature. Uh, s- scientists are studying this because nature. Uh, I, I guess there's like ancient versions of like reactors or whatever. Mm-hmm. Where? So, uh, I don't know. Are they like naturally occurring? Because. Yeah, it's naturally occurring. I was gonna say, are the Mayans or the fucking you know Egyptians? No, it's it's not like that. It was naturally <laughs> occurring radio radioactive shit, and it, it could uh, uh, it could teach scientists how how to uh, uh, do stuff with the uh, spent fuel rods <laughs> and be able to utilize it. Hmm. Yeah, it says a uh, na- nature's own reactor under the. Franceville Basin in the African nation of Gabon. Lord Gabon. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. The Oklo nuclear reactor in, as a result of a confluence of natural events around 2 billion years ago 
enough <laughs> uranium was lumped together by geological processes to kick off nuclear f fission, the process by which particles uh, spit off, split off from radioactive elements, releasing energy. Uh, groundwater nearly acts as, as a moderator, uh, slowing neutrons down so that they were more likely to uh, hit nu atomic nuclei and cause uh, fission reactions. Yeah. Oh. Herpity, so, clerpity. Herpity, herpity, herpity. so basically science and shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Glad you cleared that up. There's a lot for people to read. We like reading and science. We don't feel yeah. like doing that now, though. Because the show's already four or five hours long. <laughs> you need a five-hour energy just to go through our show. Right, but I mean, it is true, though. We got it. There wait, probably wait. is better shit that we could do with our spent fuel rods and stuff. You know, it'd be <laughs> better for the environment. So basically, so basically, what we're talking about is like way back in the day when it was like, "How oh, so when I'm gonna buy my pizza, bra? Pizza, bra. Right. So Stephen Hawking's final paper published tackles famous paradox. The Kobayashi Maru. Yeah, I'm going to say this. Is, look, there he is with Jim Parsons. I'm going to say right. that... You're into that, the black old, what stuff, the Stephen Hawking shit, right? Yeah. Holes. Um, Brown holes. I'm going to say this is all good to read, um, but we're not going to get into it. Right, I just found it interesting because he did have like a final paper that they uh, released of his... Um, and it says artist. Oh no, that's not. Uh, artist black holes on. might have soft hair. The better to store information. No, no, you're that's... thinking soft kitty, warm kitty. Okay, Jim Parsons. Sorry. Yeah. Um. I mean, the man was a genius. No one can deny that. Um. Even pretending to read his work and uh, say that I understand it is difficult. <laughs> It's very right, deep. Well, For those who want a quick well, breakdown, look up Epic Rap Battles of History. Stephen Hawking versus Albert Einstein. Yeah. Well, We're from going, what I understand, going. a lot of scientists debate on if information is, you know, really destroyed or lost in black holes. Um, and I guess this paper is showing that information can be retrieved from a black hole or, or whether it is lost forever. The paper Posits the information can be stored in a halo of soft hair surrounding a black hole. Oh. So basically, it's like a blacker version of a brown hole. <laughs> hair. It's a hairy hole, but it's black. Why, why did Doug mute himself? <laughs> I have a feeling that the dog might go off here in a moment, so I kind of didn't want it to interrupt when you guys were talking. Uh, uh, if if I do mute all of a sudden, don't be alarmed. You might hear a very loud bark <laughs> right beforehand. Okay. Oh, so okay. if, if I mute like suddenly, understand it's not anything going on. It's just that way it'll overload your earbuds. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a lot to read here with this too, oh. but uh, yeah, basically it's a paradox information Stanley. loss, you know. Yeah, he's in a wormhole. <laughs> Oh, oh, boring. It's so boring. So, uh, Stan Lee lawsuits continues as judge dismisses restraining or order protecting him. Yeah, this is back from July, but I didn't even hear about this, so I thought I put this on there. It was sort of crazy. I I don't know all the details about it, but it it seems like everybody's like turning on him, and he's like, "I just want to fucking die now." From what I That's understand, like, like supposedly a a guy I work with was telling me that. uh He's like really old and really not still there, like mentally. So he has a handler, and uh, it's a whole power of attorney kind of thing. Yeah, but there was like he had some kind of thing where it's like, uh, like what is it like the guy was they're removing some protections uh, against this guy that. Uh, I guess was responsible for all of his 
you know, like the uh, like the merchandise stuff for Marvel. I'm I'm not too sure, but like, yeah, like everybody's going against him. As a bunch of his lawyers, his his own daughter is like acting crazy or something. I guess I I don't know. Do you know too much? About, well, do you know anything about that stuff? There's no. a little bit of an update going on with that. Uh, apparently, his daughter's back in the picture somewhat. Um, mm. But apparently, they just did. An, uh, Stanley did an interview with his uh, business advisor, and there's like been a lot of contention between the advisor and the daughter. And right now, it's still a fucking shitstorm. So, well, it says Lee's daughter and only child, J.C. Lee, sat in court and smiled at her attorneys when the judge refused to recognize Lala's attorneys worked with her. And had provided a signed declaration from Stanley denouncing Lawless or whatever. Yeah, so. And there's just, there, there's still a lot of he said, she said about the situation. There's nothing really noteworthy, I guess, would be the word I'd use about it, but. Yeah, but the exact quote was he was like, I just want to crawl in bed and die. Well, I mean, the, the guy is, I think, is like 93 years old now. He lost his wife a couple of years ago. I mean, shit's gone fucking drama central to sour really fucking quick. You know, I, I, with a guy yeah. who's in his 90s and is in this type of fucking situation because there's also, uh, the, the basically what was going on was elder abuse charges. Uh, some nurse claimed that he tried to touch her. And there's, there's like, there's a whole bunch of fucking drama around it. So it, that, that's, yeah. and apparently, uh, I'm not sure if that, uh, that, assault case is still pending or not but it's just right it, it's a shit show bad news well, bears it's, it's just sad to see somebody who that happened to somebody that touched so many lives and had so much effect on the world you know and it's still yeah, gonna have effect what it is for i mean how long ago was he the guy in mall rats yeah you know he's he's, yeah. he's getting up there a lot of life goes on did you By see the, uh, the video of LA Beast? He actually went to RST video and quick stop. No, no. Is that recent? Yeah. Like hmm. I think it was like last week. He did uh he did a restaurant challenge uh and he won a restaurant challenge. It was like right around the corner in Leonardo from uh the quick stop and RST's closed down, but the right. sign is the window. Yeah, it's so, a storage place now. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, quick stop. Still you know, he's from Jersey, so that's where you know he's at now. From Leonardo, Jersey, New Jersey. Now, Leonardo, Leonardo. This being Stanley and all that—that that reminded me of an article. I apologize. I did not email this into the email because I forgot about it okay. and I couldn't find it when I emailed it myself earlier. But uh, so you know how. James Gunn was kicked from Marvel because they're shitheads. Right. Yeah. So he's seriously going to be supposedly going to DC and going to write and direct the next Suicide Squad movie. He's already been announced. Yeah, I, I did see about DC. that. Yeah. It, well, we didn't announce it on the show, so shit didn't happen, dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, isn't that one wrestler supposed to? He wanted to get in on that too, or something. Batista wanted in on it. Yeah, I think Batista. Marvel's gonna let Batista go that easily. Oh, is he is he locked in with Marvel now? He's locked in for a couple more movies, I believe. I mean, he what does he do in Marvel? He's Drax the Destroyer in Guardians. Of the oh Dark. yeah. Well, yeah, that whole rain part. <laughs> the, the Marvel needs to get their head out of their ass and just let him do the third movie because. It's so why does Marvel got to fuck with everything? I mean, just let people do their shit, dude. Well, well, like I think it's because Disney and Disney is a bunch of Nazis. Disney is very image conscious, and with what happened with James Gunn and the uh, the uh, basically the personal attacks, Disney couldn't sit on it. You know, to this day, I still never understood why. Marvel sold to Disney. Were they really that hard up for money? That big of a yes company? Yes, yes, yes. You you don't understand exactly how much money Marvel was in debt for so long before Disney bought them. I mean, that like what happened to them? Why were they doing so bad? Just because their comics weren't selling or something? Yeah. Or? Uh, the, well, I mean, their comics still struggle to a point, 
Uh, but, I mean, the entire comic industry is right now in a downturn. Um, but Marvel as a whole was not doing so hot. Uh, and the only thing that really jump-started everything was the first Iron Man movie. And then Disney was like, oh, there's a lot of money in this. And then they're like, well, what if we buy, the, buy Marvel and then we start really branching out? Uh, I, think, I think it was Iron Man 3. It was like either the maybe it was the first Thor that was the first movie completely under Disney. Was so, so that's does, why they started selling to all the their IPs and shit too, like Sony and everything. Yeah, okay, you, uh, that was done in like Fox. The late, early two thousands. Now so, you guys probably know better than I do. Excuse me. Um, which who does who did Marvel better, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe or Netflix? Uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, because uh, breaking news, Iron Fist has been canceled. Uh, um, really? Netflix yeah. likes to cancel good shit, by the way. So, I still look forward to Daredevil Season 3, though. Oh, everyone does. Uh, but uh, I I love I love Luke Cage Season 1. I haven't watched Season 2 yet. Oh, you still haven't seen that shit, man? I mean... I, dude, I am so far behind on so many TV shows and movies right now. I I've just been headlong into work. I got a, some other shit going on right now. Uh, Did you see JJ at least season two? Nope, I haven't. I haven't even made it through Jessica Jones season one. Oh well. Uh, I well, find the... Jessica Jones a little hard to watch. I mean, I, I'm I I, I want to try eh. to get through the the first season and then get along to season two. But I, I will say I actually like season two better than season one. So, but Luke Cage, some people didn't like that though, the second season, but I still say give it a try. I, I liked it. So, the East Company put Viagra and Cialis in vape liquids. The FDA yeah, is he's, throbbing. Yeah, he's for your f- buddy Floyd here. <clears throat> oh, I just sent this to him. Did oh, you seriously wait, you... just read that, that title off the way oh, you did? Well, ho- hold on. Here's, the, here's what the URL says. Uh, FDA issues stiff warning to e seek seller who put Viagra in vape <laughs> liquid. Did you send this to him because I sent it to you, or did you see this before, too? No, you sent it to me, so I'm like, oh, I got to share this. But no, like, <laughs> then, yeah, the, so after seeing the URL, the, the title just rolled off the tongue. e seek company put Viagra, Cialis, and vape liquids. The FDD is throbbing mad. <laughs> Ours, Dicknica. <sighs> company also That's claimed great. a risky anti-obesity drug and its products were FDA approved. FDA or the U.S. Food and Drug Administration uh, made clear on Thursday, October 11th, that it has a major bone to pick. Bone to pick. Electronic <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> There's going to be puns and plenty in this article that illegally pumped prescription erectile dysfunction drugs into unapproved oh, e-liquid products intended for vaping. The cocky company. Hello, Sig Electronic Technology Co. Uh, Limited even advertised the vape liquids with labels and images using drug brand names. For instance, it sold one of the vaping liquids as E. Cialis uh, Hello Sig E Liquid, alongside an image of a bottle with tablets of Eli Lilly's uh, erectile dysfunction uh, drug Cialis. It also sold a product with the brand of an anti obesity drug that had been. Pulled from the market in Europe for causing uh, uh, psychiatric disorders. The e liquid really uh, contained the erectile dysfunction drug in Viagra that the FDA found. Oh boy. <laughs> That's what she said. No, she said, Oh boy. I'm going to slap you right in your penis. No, she said, Oh. Mm-mm-mm. So yeah, they basically used ads like this. And then you go dubstep like Have you seen Dubstep solves everything? No. No. Ah, there's three parts. Jax Films does it. It's fucking hilarious. I would, but it has the word dubstep in it, so Did you ever see that uh Cyanide Happiness where it was like wait this intervention? You listen to too much dubstep. He's like, no, not that wo 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 stuff. Just that wo 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 wo. It's like, dude, you have two word, two names for it. He's like, oh god, I need help. 
Boy, this is uh... We get it. You pump it, bro. Yeah. Bo- signed book with <laughs> penis pumps. This is my bag, baby. Sign off some powers. Okay. He's on mine, baby. Epic Games likely DMCA'd its own Fortnite trailer showing the problems with YouTube's DMCA process yet again. The Epic <laughs> Fail Department. And yes, this is thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I think the title sums it up right there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Because Jim Sterling already did a video on it, too. Oh, uh, he did. Only got still what, did he... what did he say about it? Just that? <laughs> the title? Yeah, they fucking <laughs> it up. <laughs> Just like or that by Aggravate. Or as my, one of my favorite YouTubers, Angry Joe, would say, you done fucked it up. Oh. Uh, we talk about YouTube. YouTube is a great system, right? It runs itself. It's a great system, just like Steam is a fantastic system. Well, that's true. It runs itself. Steam so shit. now for my articles. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding. All right, let's play the outro music. <laughs> okay. TechSpot Intel has commissioned a third party to publish fake reviews of the 9900K and the actual reviewers are unable to respond and debunk it due to the embargo. Now, just as a disclaimer, have either of you heard about this? Yeah, um, I've heard of the uh, the uh, uh, the fake benchmarks, but I didn't know that there was... I, I think I heard something about like the benchmarks with the I think I might have heard about that. I, I don't know. Maybe I was thinking of something <clears throat> different. Doug, have you heard anything before I summarize it? I haven't really watched anything on any of the processors. Only thing I've seen recently is about the NVIDIA graphics cards that are shitbag. Well, okay. So basically, Intel has the new 9900K coming out. Oh, really? And, yeah. And it's yeah. going to be... It's going to be the you know greatest gaming chip, blah 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 blah. It's, so it's a K component, so it's unlocked and blah 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 blah. But the thing is, they hired another company to do. Um, basically, they put out these benchmarks comparing it against the uh, the Ryzen. Was it the Ryzen seven? I can't remember one of the Ryzen chips, and they said, "Oh yeah, you know it got this many more frames, this many," and um, was it TechSpot? Was the YouTube channel that noticed? I can't remember. Or no, Hardware on Unbo- Hardware Unbox. One of those channels. Uh, the guy said, "This is just actual crap." Because if you run these games, he had both kinds of system. Well, he had the system that was as close to the nine nine hundred K, and the numbers that the, they had put up that they were getting from the Ryzen system just didn't match up. So I've I've seen several YouTube channels explain this. Um, UFD Tech, uh, based out of South Africa, actually did a breakdown where they tried to get the benchmarks that the guy got, the or the the company got because you know they say that oh they only got thirty frames you know second ver- instead of like sixty or eighty in certain games, and they couldn't gimp it. They said it was gimped somehow to make it perform so shitty. And stack it in Nvidia's favor. Well, uh, they couldn't. You know, they got it only within a few frames per second, but they couldn't quite get it as low as you know the company originally had published. And then while they were doing a stream, because they're you know they have a Twitch channel, so people were commenting, "Oh, they had game mode on because game mode in Ryzen Master shuts down half of the cores and effectively turns your eight core." chip into a four core so of course a four core chip is not going to compete with an eight core now they do say that in their statement but the guy you know guys just reading over it don't notice it's in there because they just say hey here's the settings and here's what we get but they don't go by the way we're testing it's totally stacked because it is kind of shady and biased um for them to 
say that it's going to perform worse. I mean, yes, the 9900K is probably going to be the best performing, you know, gaming chip, obviously, because they're, you know, Intel does really good right now. I cannot say that even as an AMD fanboy, but this is kind of casting some, you know, uh, shade over yeah, what Gamers the Nexus doing. had a lot a long video on this I was watching. Um the and the other thing about this is it's not just oh this one thing happened look guys we cuz they they could at least say well this third party put out these statements and then they're wrong and they could just throw the other people under the bus. Um that could happen, right? And it would save their right. name. No, actually Intel stands behind the controversial test that favored its CPU over AMD's. So that's I yeah, mean, that's pretty crappy. And what was the embargo thing? Because the the one that I was thinking about, which was Intel, also was that they had it in the EULA or whatever that you couldn't do the benchmarks with the Spectre and Meltdown. Well, the testing. thing is, um, the thing is, well, I mean, the the reviewers can't review it now because the chip isn't technically out yet. Yeah, but what's the embargo had to do with? That's benchmarking, though, you said. Well, okay. The third-party company is not under the same embargo as YouTube reviewers who would get the chips now and review them. Oh, okay. So, like, they would get... Some of the YouTube people can get, like, early access eventually I mean, or whatever. They, they always do. But the thing is, the it's like a non-disclosure. They can, they can use it and test it, but they can't say shit until after launch day. Oh, and by okay. by then, people have already fucking bought it, and it's been way after until let this bullshit campaign go out is what it is. Hmm. You know, and by the way, AMD lets you you know touch little boys. What? No, it's just uh, yes. here's their actual the Intel. They say they got 110 frames in one game, and then AMD got 100. They went from 440 to 295, you know, shit like this. Intel just really thinks people are just stupid. Yeah, because you remember when they had that presentation with the 28 core um, system and they had, you know, a deep, you know, cool uh, air conditioning unit hooked up to it. And it was a chip from 2016 and they acted like it was a brand new fucking part. Yeah. So. That's just them totally I, dropping the ball. So we'll, and if people find out about it, we'll get you, man. The YouTube people will get you, the reviewers and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, there are, there are people that don't have... Because, like I said, all the guys I've watched who say there's no way this could be true are only looking at it as, well, you're not giving AMD their you know, due. They don't have the i9 ninth generation to test it out because they don't need to because you can see that the amd has been gimped yeah it's not apples to apples so that just makes me agree with this other article i brought up intel and nvidia uh prove you should always wait for benchmarks and by the way, the title of the URL is uh, Intel NVIDIA Pre-Ordering Bad. <laughs> well, it just goes to prove in general you should just wait and not pre-order hardware. Yeah, I mean, you well, hardware, so, really software even. Well, that, that gives them the games and stuff, I mean. I mean, yeah, you, like my... You still pre-order games. Well, I pre-ordered, you know, think about how stupid I sound. I pre-ordered Fallout 76, and I signed up for the beta. Oh boy, I get to be your bug tester. Yeah. This, this thing that's not even meant for humans to play, I'm going to play it and tell you how shitty it is. Can I please, please get that privilege? Yes, I really fucking want it. I, I, I'm dying to play this broken, un, um, unoptimized game. Fucking Floyd's right, been guys, all over. I actually got to bump out. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, Doug. Okay, all right, man. man. Later. Thanks for coming. Peace out, guys. Later. Later. Okay. There he goes. But yeah, Floyd's um, been bugging me. Oh yeah, it's unoptimized, and their uh, player, their character models are blah, blah, blah. okay. Whatever. I'll play. It's an it. not unoptimized next. Yeah, I want to. I want to play the snot out of it. But this article. The thing shows... with the games, though, is that's uh -huh. only like 
what is it? What did you pay for that? Um, I, 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 well, I'd play, I, uh, paid for the, um, I didn't get the, uh, the collector's edition, which actually comes with like a helmet and a map that glows in the fucking dark. Oh man, why didn't you get that shit, dude? Uh, it was sold out in the first five minutes. Uh, and then if it, yeah, then the two hundred dollar collector's edition, what all the scalpers had them on eBay for three hundred plus dollars. I'm not doing that because all they did was pre order it. So I gotta wait for them to get it and then ship it to me. Fuck that. Right. So I got Basically, the. It's it's just the game. I mean, you're not paying that much, but when you're paying like the hundreds of dollars, thousands and dollars, sometimes you know. I mean, I'm getting the basically the collector's edition without all the you know actual loot. I get the in game yeah. swag. What's that loot or boot? But yeah, like I don't, I won't get the you know the the helmet that comes with the collector's edition or whatever. I get the um, I don't even remember. I think the tricentennial edition. I get all the like the costumes and shit you get in in game, which is what half of it comes to anyway. But yeah. this article. Principal Technologies is the company that tested the Intel and AMD parts and then gave a good rating back, and it's all one-sided. So, I mean, and there's you know, and NVIDIA, once again, like showing the their own stats that are like, this has more DLSS, uh, DLSS, whatever, than the last one did. Of course it does, but you know what? No games use it yet. None. So... Principles. They got some bad principles. Yeah. So, yeah, it's best not to pre-order. But like I said, I pre-ordered a game, and you know, that's that's my own you know decision there. I, I'm gonna go ahead and be happy with that. Um, hold on. Which is also, I was gonna go straight into the uh, 2080 story. That I'm like, oh well, then shit, maybe I should get this brand new. 2080 RS and oh, it only does fucking four, even with six ports. And like it says here, you know, don't pre order, right? That's our big point to take home. If you're going to take anything home from the show, yeah. it's don't, don't pre order. Don't, don't waste your fucking time. Well, you know what happens when you pre order? Not always, but this can happen. This is from Reddit. FedEx lost my 2080 Ti Founders Edition, and then Digital River hung up on me. So here's a. What the heck is Digital River? I think it's the provider. But anyway, here's a shot of his PC. As you can see, there's no GPU. Oh, it's a barren one. PC there. Yeah. <clears throat> like everyone else who pre ordered a 2080 Ti during the conference, I endured NVIDIA's unexplained delays, but that is only uh, just the beginning for me. My pre order was shipped on the 3rd was scanned as on FedEx field for delivery on the 5th, so I rushed home from work to enjoy the weekend with my new card, but it never arrives. By midnight, the FedEx tracking shows no scheduled delivery date available at this time. In the morning, I contacted FedEx, who launched an investigation to find the item and told me I would be called within two hours with the findings. That evening, after having never received a call, I called FedEx again to ask for an update, and they tell me that the package has been found, yay, and that it will be delivered by 6 p.m. on Monday. At 8 p.m. on Monday, I call FedEx to let them know that my package hasn't been delivered yet. The representative tells me the package is on uh, the way to me in Georgia. I tell them that my address is in Illinois. And he tells me, well, you told the last representative that you live in Georgia. To which I reply, I did no such thing, and I live in Illinois. The representative then puts me on hold and calls another department to determine the status of the investigation. Then informs me the package was never actually found and is officially missing. I have to contact the shipper and get a refund. So I contacted Digital River and let them know that FedEx has lost my item and I required a replacement to be sent. They can't seem to grasp that FedEx has lost it. Digital River keeps telling me that tracking shows the package is out for delivery soon. Eventually, I convinced them to escalate. The representative told me they would make a ticket to find the item, then placed me on hold, then hung up on me. So I called Digital River a second time. Again, they have trouble grasping that the item is not going to be delivered. But, sir, I see the item is still being delivered. Then they make a ticket for investigation. I ask to be given the ticket number. Then I ask who is uh, this higher department that will handle the ticket, and they tell me NVIDIA. Apparently, I should expect an email within 48 business hours. LL what? 
after a cluster flop, or what a cluster flop, that uh, FedEx driver better be enjoying all them uh, gig rays because I sure ain't. Too long didn't read. Invaded delays all our pre-orders. FedEx loses my card, then messes me around for a while. Did you ever hung up on me that then finally escalates a ticket to NVIDIA as I now have no card and no uh, card being shipped to me. I, worst of all, I will probably get uh, shafted and put to the end of the queue. Ooh. Digital River. So that's, is that like a store or something? Uh, hold on. I'm looking, trying to look it up now. Global Enterprise to Fuel Optimized Commerce. The private company that uh, provides global e-commerce payments. Uh... It was... oh, he's... I sure is up a digital shit river without a paddle. That's for sure. <laughs> One guy says, I got delayed to November 7th, and I ordered August 20th. Wow, that's crazy. I ordered MSI Duke 28 Ti from Newegg on 10-3 and received it on 10-4. And he says, 10 weeks, cancel that order and do somewhere else. Yeah, it's like, that'd be sad if you pre-order and then the people that actually wait, it gets it soon. <laughs> Digital, River, Digital River can suck a bag of dicks. They handle my Sennheiser promo code uh, leak so poorly. Custom Port said they'd honor orders. Uh, then a week later, canceled thousands of orders and took two weeks uh, to refund everyone. Fuck Digital River. So this guy, there wasn't a happy ending to this article that got guys still fucked. Um, this is why I decided to do. This is the apparently the. Well, I don't think it's the original post. Who is the original guy? Uh, posted by FedEx. Lost my twenty ATI. So I think they made a throwaway account just for this. Um. Yeah, it's like know. you you should be able to. I mean, you could probably sue over that or something. <clears throat> I mean, well, the thing is, when FedEx loses a package, it depends on if it was insured and in working and shipping and receiving, getting getting a company to handle any actual lost package. Like he said, you're just doing a phone chain where you get bumped up to a priority and next higher department, and then they hang up on you and you got to start all over again. Yeah, that's crazy. Jesus Christ. By the way, I'm going to show you a, a story that uh, Floyd's all hard about. I just got that vape pen hard on for him. Microsoft announces Project xCloud, Xbox game uh, streaming for a myriad of devices. Because we had talked uh, earlier about uh, how uh, Steam, uh, was it Steam Cloud or whatever from Google where you could play Assassin's Creed on Chrome. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Microsoft, their thing is they want, like, they want to basically do like, uh, like Ubisoft was saying they're going to do. And uh, um, whatever the way you can stream your game to you won't eventually you won't have to have an actual uh, you know gaming device anymore. You won't have to have a, a console. Uh, it'll all be in the cloud, and like you'll be able to use your tablet or your phone and play your you know game. But see. I don't. I don't believe this shit because shit pie uh, says that we only need ten gigabits a second, All right? So, uh, what what do you think of that? No thoughts. Nah, it just sucks. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a nice dream. But I guess it's in, until companies realize that there's a, a not really a need, but a desire and drive for such a service. Because if you think about it, you know, 
oh, not not even twenty years ago, uh, you know, the idea of Netflix having every movie in the cloud was fucking retarded. Like they were, I remember getting discs in the mail and thinking, yeah, he'll never replace Blockbuster. So it's not too, yeah. you know, it's not too far off to say, oh, they'll replace the, you know, the consoles and all that. But yeah. well, it's kind of like automated uh, cars, you know. It's just like her, our infrastructure really isn't there yet for that, you know. Hmm. I mean, it's like you. It's either got to be one or the other, you know. You got to have all automated driving or none. It's like having the the transition is just gonna suck for that type of thing, you know. Yeah, it'll take time. Is all it is. Yeah. It's just like when everyone holds up a keychain and goes, remember when my computer had this big of a hard drive and this thing well, cost me two bucks? Yeah, like, I, it's always kind of been, it's kind of ironic because usually in, like, mo- like futuristic movies, it's just like, oh, this thing could, it can, you know, like, you can do this or that, but it's not really, there's not really been too much of an emphasis on the hardware itself, like, you never really see like, I mean, once in a while, I think you see like a, they'll drop a name brand or something in the future. Like, but I mean, you never see like an HP was on those machines that where they were hooked into the matrix into, you know? Right. But, uh, yeah. yeah then in 20 years you go, <laughs> they thought we were going to get into the matrix on Apple twos, you know? Yeah. But like I was, where I was going though is like, yeah, like there eventually there's not going to be too much of an emphasis on your own like hardware that you have at home. It's like everybody's all going to be the same, and the, the main mainframe is going to be the thing that has all the power, you know. Well, see, that's the other thing. Like the the people selling the shit, they want the power to produce their own components and sell it yeah. to us. But if everyone's going to have the same shit, then basically everyone's going to be buying Chromebooks and you know playing games on some beastly computer that's in the cloud. So that's yeah. going to kill... Per- I mean, they're kind of c- slowly c- trying to kill uh, PC building as it is. But yeah, and then to- if they don't like you, if you're, if you're uh, on their bad side, they just lock you out of all that shit then, you know? You're like, oh yeah, you broke this, you or whatever. You know? Well, I mean, like the the it, it's a market. It, it, they're gonna if they open up a market to where they're gaming it, games as a service. You know, what Everything I mean, is a service. Well, I mean, like you know, I'm saying no. If that's their if that's their marketing strategy, if, instead of selling DVD or you know, instead of selling discs with the game or whatever, everything is online. They don't sell systems anymore. If that's their market, then they're gonna have to make sure that it's going to be profitable because they're not going to make any money off of computers anymore. Cause why buy a high, you know, top in, top of the line system. If the bare minimum can play the fucking game. Yeah. Right. So, uh, by the way, now we're into some fallout news. Okay. So this is what you've been watching on YouTube. Yes. So back to the, Get, you know, shut up, Ted, that we were talking about. <laughs> shut up, Ted. Um, <clears throat> Bethesda held an event with, um, basically, held an event? yes, with about a bunch of YouTubers and uh, companies for like GameStop and, or sorry, GameSpot. Logan Paul? Much, huh? Logan Paul YouTubers? Yeah, no, a bunch of uh, gaming YouTubers <laughs> that I actually follow. Um, right. And uh, they uh, went to... the Since the game takes place in West Virginia, one of the actual sites in West Virginia is a... Uh, it's a... Um, what they, what's the word they used for it? A um, resort. It's not just a building uh, or a hotel. It's a resort that at one time was a bunker from the 60s up until the 90s for members of Congress. So if there was bombs falling, they would have the members of Congress jump into this bunker and hide out until the bombs got done falling. Um, so, of course, Fallout found that out and made it a feature in the game that you can explore. So they had the event at this actual building 
in the bunker, well, or around the bunker. That's kind of funny. And uh, they let the people there play Fallout 76 for about three hours straight to get a uh, feeling for it and see what they thought because they all had capture cards, recorded their gameplay, and then when they got home, everybody and their brother uploaded it to YouTube. So there are entire three-hour raw gameplay videos on YouTube, and then there are also chopped up, edited my commentary videos, and they're basically reaction videos because they couldn't rec- they they were able to do like team speak i think or whatever to people in their uh squad but they could record the audio for that so basically you see the gameplay and they say i think here i was doing this and they're talking to their buddies and shit oh so, like they couldn't record their voices no there was basically there was a screen uh that like it grabbed whatever the hell uh their gameplay and the audio from the game, uh, but it didn't record like their conversations between each other, etc. I don't know why, but I don't care. I didn't want to hear that shit. If anything, I might want to hear the guy who played and a couple of them read up, like dubbed what, like, here, here's what I was thinking here. Here's what I was doing here. But some of them got too annoying. One guy was like, okay, we get it. You're excited to play the game. Quit trying to hype us up more. You're annoying. And basically, other guys, like, it's like, Frank's like, I, I I like watching normal porn. I don't like watching like those that European porn where the the guys are too loud or whatever. Yeah, and they're too into it. It's just that and like their buddies asking questions, and the guy forgets where the hell he is. And I forget where I was going with this, and like you just see a character running around. Now some like some of the guys I follow did better. They were like, what like they only optimized it. They played on Xbox one X's and they played a build of the game that wasn't really optimized except for like the main story mode. So they expected you to get out of the vault and start doing a few quests up to a certain point. And that's all they made it optimized for. They made it so you can go further, but not quite supposed to. And I found that out because one of the guys I followed said, you know what? Everyone of the brother is going to do the main quest. Fuck it. I want to show everyone the most I can. So he just said fuck the main quest and ran straight out into the world and started playing and seeing how much he could see and he saw some of it wasn't highly optimized at all but like they said that's because they didn't plan on anyone doing that what was what was the copyright on that like was that, is that uh, like in, in public domain or whatever since people can be using it on youtube then well i mean it's their own technically their foot like excuse me because not all youtubers went to it so um some guys I follow are like, yeah, my buddy so-and-so went, so I'm using his footage uh, behind me while I talk, <laughs> you know, and he allowed me to do that. So it's your footage. Um, a couple of YouTubers actually met each other and did PVP because that's been a good uh, question for how would that function. So they came upon each other and said, hey, let's do this. Let's see how it works. So that was a good, you know, proof of concept um and i got a lot out of that because it's you know it's fun to watch it lets you see what you can get what you're expecting and it answers a lot of questions um especially when you hear the guys who played it give their you know thoughts and opinions on it right Um, but but that's the basically granted them permission to record it was yeah they oh they yeah they recorded it's just that like they were the same like the regular YouTube guys you have to uh, mm-hmm. have a non disclosure you can't talk you can say you went to an event and you can even show some pictures from the event but like uh, I think Washington Post I think posted a screenshot that was in the game and they posted that online before they were supposed to and yeah. p- there people were doing YouTube videos just saying these are two leaked screenshots. Um, yeah, but if they're doing the whole videos, why do they care about a screenshot? Well, the the whole videos weren't out yet. They had a certain date that uh, they could, they they would I would see videos where the guy would say, I went to an event, here are pictures from the event, not my screen, but here's some stuff at the event, like a guy dressed as Vault Boy, you know, in a giant mascot suit. And they're like, But I can't show anything about the event. I can uh, discuss it further on the eighth. And then the next morning, boom, here's all these videos. So, like, everybody and their brother put out a video that day. 
She's like James Bond shit, man. So, yeah, so three hours of straight, you know, some of them are just the raw footage. Like I said, some of them discussing it. So you get three hours per YouTube user just for, like, the raw video. Then you got another three hours of, well, with commentary or an hour or however they do it if they want to break it up. Um, How did they do it? They they really <clears throat> want it to be, like, a surprise for people or something? They, I mean, there's going to be a beta. They're going to play it. Um, I guess they kind of want you to, you know, see what you're getting into. Um now this, by the way, back to why I brought this article up. Basically, this guy's like, "Oh, why aren't they coming to Steam?" Because that was another thing. Everyone's like, "Why isn't Fallout Seventy Six coming to Steam?" Because they don't want they they're not going to say it, but they got to give a big chunk of the money to Steam or Valve, basically. And their shit has been very popular. Their last game was their most sold game, I think, ever. They said so. They want to have a tight lid on they they say having a direct relationship with our customers is super important to us no that's not it you want to say we want your fucking money they, Wait. they basically yeah. don't want to gave and raping yeah they want to they want to be inclusive and all inclusive and have a you know a wall garden like apple and if they do it right that's fine i i installed the bethesda launcher i i had it installed before for uh, Fallout Shelter, which I very rarely played, and then they had a Steve version. So they might ha- the launch. They're not going to have one. People say they're never going to have one. I don't care if they ever have one because I'm not going to buy it again. Um, but Bethesda. what? Bethesda. Yeah, but <clears throat> you know, other thing, you know. Uh, Han- 76, hands-on. Everything that unfolds in the first three hours. So, Do like, we have pe- some screenshots we can show everybody? Um, Let me see here, because I'm trying to see what's not, like, all the crap you just see from the regular trailers. I don't think there's... I mean, they, basically, they're like, it doesn't seem like, you know, any other games. And this is just... I linked this because this is just another person's perspe- perspective on it. GameSpot had people there. Um, well, why not go to video and we'll just go to a couple frames or something? I don't want us getting pulled. Uh, I'm just kidding. About I'm, especially that. Yeah, I don't want that happening again. Because this is my channel. Fuck that. This is just some more for you to read. Now, to touch on a certain point that a lot of people wondered, um, there's the Vault Tech Acquire... Uh, Vault Tech assisted targeting system um, that VATS that everyone was worried about. When uh, previous games, when you played Fallout, you would get to aim on certain points of another player, usually an NPC, non player character, um, yeah. and you would shoot them. Well, it, it took different uh, forms in previous games. The first edition, literally everything froze because it was turn based combat originally in the first couple Fallouts. It was oh, it would fr- okay. so it would freeze. You would pinpoint where you would want to shoot, and it would tell you you have a ninety-five percent chance of shooting. You have a ten percent chance, whatever, and you, and you would and that that percentage chance was a dice roll. <clears throat> In later models, time would be slowed down, but you would still um, be able to you know pinpoint and shoot. Now, since it's a you know a live online streaming game, you can't slow down time. So VATS is still there, but it's in real time. Another thing is now uh, it used if you hit the VATS button to see how many points, you know, see if you could shoot somebody, but you decide not to take a shot. You didn't take it didn't cost you anything. Now, <clears throat> if you press the VATS button, it takes away some of your AP, your action points. So there's yeah, like, that to wouldn't consider. that be good? Like if you're the person you're at, like if you're trying to snipe somebody and they're pretty much standing still the only thing in um when you like lo- uh, shoot down your sights in uh fallout if you press the button to the alt button to hold your breath that takes away some of your ap but like i said vats is vats is supposed to be for if you don't actually w- want to shoot but you want to build a character that can shoot you can pick perks 
that uh, will give you higher percentages. So if you're going against the person like uh, uh, non, like they actually have a perk that's like non-automatic guns give you 25% more uh, critical hit points if you have this perk and uh, or automatic weapons will give you this many or uh, you know rifles whatever and there were certain you know like i said certain perks you could pick per uh, kind of play style you were trying to do so you know even if you're like me and you can't aim that well you have a higher percentage and if you can click on them you would go well with the new system you know uh, it it works kind of the same way except it, like I said, since it doesn't freeze time, they said that we were spoiled with the previous versions um, because it would cinematically follow the line of sight from the gun and the cameras would play a trick where it would go from the person shooting to the thing being shot and it would show the travel of the bullet to the execution of the shot and, oh, it looks cool. Well, in the new version, you just have to be pointed towards the person, not even at the person. And once it says you have a 95 or whatever the hell percentage shot and you take it, your bullet will actually curve away from your gun and shoot the person. <clears throat> now, assist the aim, right? Huh? Assist the aim or whatever. Like, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a Voltec uh, assisted targeting system, is what the VATS stood, stands for. They, oh, okay. they, um, you know, people say, oh, it looks terrible. Well, the, yes, it ruins the magic of that. Oh, it all of a sudden made me a good shot. <clears throat> but no, no, the thing is, I'm not a good shooter, but I have this perk and the perk takes over and shoots for me since I can't. So, I mean, there's one called the Mysterious Stranger where there's a guy there that will take the shot for you because you're so bad, he just will shoot for you. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to appear in this new one, but a lot of people are saying since it's so bad looking, they wish they had done something else. There's video of it if you really want to check it out. Um, oh, really? They didn't like it, huh? Yeah, there's just a lot of discussion. Either people say it either takes a lot of getting used to, or they wish they didn't do it at all, or God, it looks bad. Like, I don't, I, I'm, I, I don't care. I, I if you. If you get, you know, a perk, if you get enough perks to build your, it's all about character building. That's what RPGs are. It's about you build your character to play a certain way. And if you physically aren't able to aim and shoot, <clears throat> then it should matter. And, you know, build your character as such, you know, you should be able to play that way. And the funny thing is, the reason I wanted to bring up this article, I mean, it's whatever, it's about a little... A little feature in the game, but that big deal is because this was on Forbes.com. Uh, Remember when Forbes was all about like car sales this year have gone up? Blah, 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 blah. Now they're talking yeah. about this. Oh my fucking god, what happened? But I thought that was cute, so I decided to share it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, but I, it's like it could be, it could be. A, Way lamer. I mean, they could have it be like where it's time still freezes, but then like when somebody targets you, you're like stuck. You can't do anything. I mean, that would be a lot lamer, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, they kind of they stopped freezing time in the last releases, which wasn't online when you were still playing NPC, so it wouldn't make sense to do it here. It right. just slowed it down. Now, this article. I'm zoom out. This is like mobile version. Zoom out. Huh? Yeah. Zoom in on un enhance. So. Fair boy. Surprised. Okay. The, the title of this article got me. I think it looks better on mobile because I started reading it then. But uh, Fallout 76 for the anti online player. We recently had a chance to play Fallout 76 with the devs over at Bethesda during a media preview event, and we've got to admit, it was a lot more single-player friendly than we thought it would be. Because <clears throat> a lot of people are like, well, I'm, my biggest fear, when I started playing, I was like, oh, man, I'm all about, you know, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, all that. I want to walk around alone and 
not like I'm I'm still gonna be playing solo. I don't think I'm gonna team up with a group. There are benefits if you team up with people, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do like you know, people who play like those uh battle royale games and all that, I'm not I don't play with just randos and like Frank's to, gonna get his grizzled mountain man hermit bed. Well, no, like you don't, you know, I, I, because I, it's a server based. You know, there's only 24 people on a server, but there's no guarantee I'll have that server forever. So I'd have to actually have friends, and then I can, you know, join the add the friend to your server, however the hell it goes on. Well, I'm not gonna be friends with someone. I'm 36 fucking years old. Plus, his his good friend uh, Floyd ducked out. Well, he, you know. But there's no crossplay currently, anyway, even with Xbox, which uh, is stupid. But whatever. So I thought they were trying to do that. <clears throat> they said, "Well, even even after, because so, the main thing was Sony said no, and then they're like, well, fuck it, we're not going to do it with Xbox either, even though we're releasing on the Xbox.' So I don't know. But the other thing is, let's talk about what the, the word is for a minute. No, well, depends on what your definition of is is. Well, let me get a drink of some high quality H two O. First, a little scratchy. Are Are you done with the cherry? Yeah, I'm down to just ice. So, b- basically, I had fear. I was like, I don't want to be hassled by the, you know. F- first off, there's no camping. Leave me well, alone. There- well, there is there is technically camps. You, that's what they call your your unit that you can go around and build a base. It's called a camp. <laughs> that's its abbreviation. But <clears throat> but no, the the, techni- the term in, in games where campers, where a person sits in the same spot and then people spawn and then they shoot them. That that can't happen because when you go, come out of the vault, they figure people are going to be you know coming out of the vault and people are going to try and snipe them. But you can't do that because you can't even fight another player until you're level five. Oh, really? Yeah, PvP is not available to you. So that's 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 number one good. Number two, the way they made the system, it actually the the hit system is on a leveling where it doesn't matter what the higher level characters and the lower level characters are. They they do about the same amount of damage to each other, which sounds stupid, but it also does it to equalize it to where, a, you know, a person is not supposed to be so OP that nobody can take them down. Right. Like that episode of South Park. How could you kill that which has no life? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, but yeah, um, passive More mode. Package. Passive passive mode is on by default. So if you're walking along. You know, you know, you won't accidentally get killed by somebody, and somebody, you know, like I said, they can't PvP you if your passive mode is on, you, which you can apparently can turn on and off. So you can't be messed with if you don't feel like it. Oh, okay. Um, what is it they say here? Uh, an effort to prevent griefing, especially early on, the team also implements what's called passive mode. This makes it to where a player at level 5 or lower won't accidentally fire at another player. Friendly fire happens, so this mode helps prevent that while lower level players learn the ropes of West Virginia. Hmm. Once the level of passive mode is surpassed, the team still has safeguards in place for those that don't willingly engage in PvP. You can learn more about that in the video at the top of the article. Um, yeah, but then so then they'll just like Pump your tea bag on you. <laughs> yeah, and like the everything, like they said, is um, you know, you found it's a found environment game. You run around, you find recordings of uh, you know, stuff that's going on to per, to pro uh to get the quest moving along. You get the uh, you know, you find notes and journals. Um, you also uh, a lot of people have described the game as feeling lonely, and they're like, well. Not really, because that's not a negative thing. You're supposed to feel like I'm walking a barren wasteland. Oh my god, this is giving me feeling. I'm so alive. Yeah. You know, you're not supposed to feel like, well, what's the big deal? The place isn't even that dead. Look, I've got ten people with me. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, oh, this. What do you know? This post-apocalyptic game is lonely. 
Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm walking around a bearing wasteland. There's not enough people. What the hell? But that spoke a lot to me because I I'm a, I'm a I was a big anti multiplayer. Then I'm like, man, I'm coming around to it. I'll have to see how it works. Um, I just got to work up to it. Right. This will be a good transition for him. Zoom enhance here. Skyrim fans have started a Switch modding scene that to do what Bethesda won't. And it's not just noobs. Or it's not just boobs, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Ubes, B-E-W-B-Z. Yeah. Bubes. Bubes. <laughs> Bobs. Um, basically, they released Skyrim on the Switch. And they said, so you're going to put the mods out, right? And they're like, Bethesda's like, yeah, we'd love to do that, but we're just not going to. And so the modder's like, okay, we'll do it. So that's that's cool, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but since Big Floyd's hey. out there playing the Battle Royale of uh, Call of Duty, I found this interesting. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 requires a 50 gig day one update to work. Mm. Update game is selling a day early so people can download the update. If you have the physical version of Call of Duty Black Ops 4, expect to download a mammoth day one update. Disk users have to download and install the day one update for uh, Treyarch's first person shooter, Activision Warned. The day one update is roughly 50 gigabyte. This day one update must be installed completely to play multiplayer, zombies, and specialist headquarters. But Blackout, the battle royale mode, is playable once the installation is about 30% complete. So 16 to 20 gigabyte, you can start playing one of the modes. Activision said, for an optimized download experience, you should have 112 gigabyte of free hard drive space. This isn't the size of the download, rather it's the amount of space needed to complete the installation. The final installation footprint, as it's called, is around 55 gigabyte. Mm. So, basically, they start selling it early because people got to start downloading. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that ridiculous? That is ridiculous. And I don't know if we talked about it um, uh, last week or not. I talked about... Um, Google's project uh, stream that's real full. That's really a full Assassin's Creed in my browser. Hmm. Yeah, to sign up for it and try it out. I think it was in beta. But yeah, that was the whole, you know, like a, uh, games as a service where you're playing in the cloud. Get your head out of the clouds. In your head, zombie. But yeah, I mean that's must be that's in browser there. Wow. I used to Anyways, have. A... You get. Go ahead. I go ahead. I was gonna say that someone said the best perk in the game is a. It's in a paywall. There's permanent XP boost. You have to purchase it for real money, but other but ten bucks. But without it, it makes the game hard as fuck because you, you don't have the XP. So you have to grind and grind and grind. And a lot of people are mad about that. You have to grind or what? Yeah, that's what I said. So you got any tin foil hat too? Uh, uh, no, not really. Okay, what's it? Well, what do you you have after this? Or are we <coughs> grinding more Fallout still? Huh? Are we are we grinding Fallout still, or what else do you got? Oh. I gotta let the dogs out. Who? 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 Check this out. The new Razer Phone 2 tries again to make the 120 hertz gamer phone a thing. 
Oh, I did see that. I was thinking about doing it, but it's like, oh, well, they're trying. A 5.7 inch LCD display has a 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution. HDR support, HDR10, uh, 645 nits of maximum brightness and wide color gambit of 98.4%. Yeah, it's like we're going to be seeing our first G-Sync phones. It's like, great, that's another reason to make it even more expensive. See, Asus had a, fo- had a phone like this that was coming out, and I sent it to Floyd. He's like, yeah, I don't give a shit. But he says that now, but as soon as they can make it where you can get yeah. them on your phone, that motherfucker yeah. be buying this in a heartbeat. Because when we were talking about the, the, that story, he was all about the Microsoft X Cloud or whatever. They have a little... Yeah xbox controller you can snap your phone into if you got one of these bad boys yeah he'll if you do that he'll he'll start blowing his vape all over it <sighs> just gonna ignore that um his vape will be hitting that screen so good if you remember a couple of months back verizon pats itself on the back after throttling firefighters in california yep so if you remember, you know, they said they didn't do it. And on Friday, Verizon released a 60-second ad called Enabling Heroes, in which it paints its role as vital to the lives of first responders. The commercial's voiceover mentioned cell towers on wheels and flying drones that maintain communications. In times of crisis, their calls go through, and they uh, can get their job done. Verizon Sheet Network uh, Officer Nikki Palmer calmly tells the viewer, even though we know that's bullshit. Did you fart? No. This article, man. Oh, I thought you farted. No. That that this article that that lie is a fart. That's what's a fart. By the way, the post office wants to raise the fees it charges Amazon and other shippers. And they wonder why the motherfucker wants drones. Wow, they're really squirming. It's like they're they're just like it's kind of like the last kicks of you know, like before they get strangled. You know, I'm sorry. The post office wants to charge them more. They go, okay, we just won't use the fucking post office then. Yeah, other companies will take our business. Amazon is one of the biggest companies in the world, sending out the most packages. Any company that handles packages would be retarded not to take it. Well, weren't they? Didn't they have a thing where they could pretty much do it themselves by now? I don't know. This, Trump did the. Thought, okay. I thought they were talking about starting their own. Trump issued uh, an executive order in April to set up a task force to examine the USPS, claiming that it was on an unsustainable financial path. And he's also tweeted that USPS is Amazon's delivery boy and doesn't from Amazon's business. They say it's not, you know, the USPS spokesperson said uh, changes are not a response to Trump's criticism. Sure, they're not. Sure, they're not. <laughs> well, I'm going to end my articles on a, on a not so downy downer 10. Okay. Because it's getting late or early, depending on how you look at it. Netflix is buying its first production studio complex. Hmm. You don't say. The New Mexico location will help produce more shows in the state. A lot of uh, big time companies are moving out of California because it costs so much to film there anymore. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you see this article? Amy Winehouse's hologram will go on tour with a live band. No, I didn't. But yeah. Netflix isn't expanding its footprint in California. The streaming behemoth is planning to open a production hub in New Mexico by acquiring Albuquerque's ABQ Studios, its first purchase of a production studio complex, expanding the deal, which is still in fi- final negotiations, in part due to incentives, which include up to $10 million in local economic development act funding from the state, as well as a maximum of $4.5 million from Albuquerque. I did see an article about a uh, DC Comics and a bunch of other companies were gonna 
be under AT and T or whatever. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that'll do it for me. So, uh, let me see what you got there. Uh, uh okay, here we go. No, it's HBO, CN CNN, DC Comics, and more could join the streaming video service under AT and T. Oh. I don't know. What would you think about that? What do you think about that? I don't. I don't care. Have you Have you ever used the TNT? I had a on my first iPhone. Oh, Didn't really? care for it. I don't get any service anywhere. Yeah. My in laws, my parents, even with Verizon, I barely get signal by their house. Right. My parents, they use the. They used to use the U verse or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, it's one thirty in the morning. It's one thirty in the morning. Did you have anything else you wanted to uh say before we wrap this up? Yeah, sure. Um. Oh, I didn't hit the go live button. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh fuck! We'll have to redo it all over, Frank. All over. Okay, what were you gonna say? Do you really have something, or are you just saying stuff? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Uh, staying school, kids, and don't vape unless you want to get hard. Don't listen to what Ian says ever. <laughs> okay. Well unless if unless if you uh have somebody to uh ben that could benefit from your vape pen, don't uh don't do vape pens. Okay, well on on behalf of uh me, Doug and Ian, keep your stick on the ice. Do, 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 do. By the way, let's see if let's see if we can find our buddy here. My buddy and me. My buddy and me. Oh well, here's uh. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's here's the other dog, Nico. Oh, sleeping. He's laying. He's relaxing. Oh. Uh huh. Yep. Well, take care of the dogs. I gotta take care of mine. They gotta go potty. By the way, this is my parents' 4K TV. They kind of recently got this Vizio. Oh, what size? Uh, seventy something. Man, I want something like that. Boner, boner, boner. Yeah, they they actually had to get this. Uh. Crazy wall mount for it to be able to do a doing like a corner, you know. Ooh. Well, okay, I gotta go because I gotta poop. I gotta poop. I gotta poop. I gotta pee. I believe he said he had to go pee. So, thank you for joining us, everybody. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Boobs. All right. Later, this everybody. Is it... <laughs> What'd you say? This is Scissor up. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Bye.